All right, hey everybody. Welcome back to the marathon. My name is Iron. I'm one of the hosts, but I'm going to be doing a run for you guys right now. It's going to be of a pretty cool ROM hack called Fire Gold. Uh, this ROM hack, as you can see, based on the start screen here, came out just this year. It's a few months old. So it's actually still kind of a work in progress, um, but I'm going to be running it on the newest patch. Most of the mechanics are pretty much set, I think. There's just a few minor things that might change in the future, which we might talk about a little bit later. Uh, with me on commentary is Head Bob. Hey, Head Bob. What's going on, everyone? Uh, this is a, I, I was part of the writing process for this hack, and it's definitely very fun. It's been great to see how this has come together. Yeah, for so. sure. Um, this, yeah, this, uh, this run I'm going to be running. Um, there's actually two mods we've wrote it. So Head Bob wrote one of them. I wrote it the other. Um, but uh, we can kind of talk about maybe how they compare here and there. Yeah. Uh, but this one I'll be running. I'll be running Totodile. Um, so uh, he and uh, Ted Bob wrote it in the quill. Uh, both runs are very very fast. So uh, it's uh, could be would have been neat to see them side by side. But uh, alas, we'll get uh, we'll get to see at least Totodile today. Uh, anything you want to say before we get started, Head Bob? Uh. Not really. I think we can get to most of it during the run. I think it'll be very exciting to see. Hopefully you guys are hyped as well. All right, cool. And thanks for the good luck, everybody, as well. Appreciate that. All right, we'll get going in three, two, one, go. So as you can tell, based, based on the name of the hack, as well as the start screen here, this is a fire red leaf green hack, and it's based in Johto. So... This will have the classic Fire Red Leaf Green RNG manipulation. Um, I'm going to go through the manipulation. Headbub can kind of talk about it as I go here, because I might need to focus. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, gonna... So yeah, obviously, if you haven't played Frame Trick... And because, just like in Fire Red Leaf Green, there are NPCs on the screen that can move while you're doing the manipulation, it tends to be a variable frame that you're trying to hit. So going forward in PB attempts can be a bit tedious, I guess. Um, there's something else in the works for this hack specifically with the starting minip, um, but um, but just just know that it's not easy to get the manipulation in the PB attempt. So as as a result, we have a backup prepared just in case Iron doesn't hit it here. Um, he could, that'd be pretty hype. Yeah, we got one on. I got one uh, runnable uh, totodile here. We'll talk about the, the, what the stat requirements are uh, in a bit. So we're gonna try and hit the frame here. This one's actually pretty solid. Better than my backup. seconds. Okay, so we're looking for 20 HP male. It is male. Um, most Totodels are 21 HP, because Totodels got high HP ID, or base stat, rather. That is not it. That is... I don't see it. It's not within three frames, so we'll just go with the backup. Okay, 
can take off the... Whoops. So yeah, I guess There's for stat, a... I guess we'll talk about uh, stat requirements now, I guess. Um, yeah. So, um, so the idea for Totodile is to get a plus attack nature um, with at least 30 IV. So similar to Blastoise, except Totodile, as a result of the physical special split in this game, uh, tends to be a more physical attacker, has higher base attack. Um, but obviously, it's a water type, so there's still some water special moves. So we still need decent special, and obviously decent speed. So, um, Iron, I'll just list some of the IVs. He's running a lonely Totodile with 31 attack, 30 defense, 29 special attack, and 25 speed. And, um, we'll see how important some of those are. Um, but overall, this is a pretty decent Totodile, apart from the speed not being, you know, not perfect, but... Um, yeah. Yeah. So here I'm just kind of going to Mr. Pokemon. There's no uh, extended manipulation or anything like that. I don't think you could really do one RTA yeah. in Fire Red Leaf Green anyway, but... So I'm just going to be running from a lot of encounters <laughs> to start with here. Yeah, obviously this kind of run Manipolis in the Johto region. A lot of potential for encounters, so it can be a bit tedious if you're really trying to grind the time down, but it's not, not what's happening here. I am playing in the morning. There is There are uh, different times of day in this. I think the first version didn't have morning, day, night. This version does. Uh, I have never played in morning, um, but we'll see how this goes. It should be fine. Also, if I recall correctly, this quest that we're doing right now is actually optional, right? Still? This is, yes, but it gets you the running shoes, which... To get the running shoes, obviously, yeah, but... It's a nice way to move around quickly. Um, so yeah, it definitely pays off over the run, even if you have to take that little tutorial with the old man. We're just taking our yeah, encounters. Like, yeah. Um, yeah. You, you were gonna say something, sorry, I cut you off. Getting all Caterpies here, this is interesting. I will need to catch one HM friend later uh, for cut, specifically. Pick up this hidden potion here. That's gonna be nice for early game. But yeah, so this game, Headbot mentioned there's a physical special split. This game is kind of interesting. It's kind of based on a kind of a mixture of the original Gold Silver Crystal as well as Heart Gold Soul Silver. It also has a bunch of other like later gen mechanics, so we'll talk about those as we go through. But a lot of the later gen stuff, like uh, critical hits being 50% more, as one example, is a thing as well instead of double damage. Yeah, a later thing that I can think of at the top of my head. I remember the day, like the, the very like maybe hours after, um, what the Scarlet and Violet trailer came out. Uh, Paldea and Wooper was added to the game, like maybe like oh, yeah. the same day. It was yeah. like crazy. So there's still stuff like that that are like really late, like really recent, and mixed with obviously yeah, so you are, know. Yeah, that's a good green. Point. There are regional variants in here as well. Um, we won't be. Generally, I think not many of them are available in the wild. You have to actually get the uh, Jotonian or Cantonian variant and then trade it in Fuchsia City. So you can actually get a Hisuian Typhlosion in this game, but you have to wait till Kanto and you have to start with uh, Cyndaquil to do that. So this rival fight, um, Lead Scratch, that's a really nice crit to start things off. Chikorita does like to growl turn one. Um, this fight can be pretty fast if he doesn't growl. Um, I did get one there, but that was kind of late, and with the critical, this is a pretty fast fight. It'll be a four turn. Really solid fight there. Yeah, 
Yeah, Vince, this is a really new uh, ROM hack. There's actually quite a few um, Gen 3 Johto hacks in existence. Another great example is Crystal Dust, which is a game that uh, Pickle Plop in the chat has played as well as myself. Uh, that one has a few differences to this one, and that one's also still kind of a work in progress as well. That one should be, the newest version of that should be releasing pretty soon as well, I imagine. But uh, it's pretty neat to see some of the, uh, to kind of play a generation like Gen 2 with a Gen 3 engine. It's kind of fun. Yeah. It, it, there's a lot you could do with a Gen 3 base. A lot of people who like to route ROM hacks generally choose Gen 3 as their as their game of choice, because I, I, I assume it's the easiest to work with. That's what I've gathered. Um, and for us as routing perspectives, at least for me, I've always just been looking at whether it's a Fire Red base or an Emerald base, so if we can actually manipulate it or not. <laughs> That's what you're concerned about. There's a lot of really great... Uh... Hacks. A lot of the runs that, ROM hacks I've played have been uh, Fire Red hacks or Emerald hacks. In Crystal Dust, for example, you can actually do a uh, extended manipulation off of the starter off the, off of the starter manipulation, um, kind of like what you see in Emerald. Yeah. And I think we saw Kurt in the chat earlier. Kurt kind of helped work on that. Uh, but that's a, that's a different game. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about this game today. <laughs> Yes, Vince. You can. It's the the classic uh, uh, fire leaf green minip. So it's the moving target based on your trainer ID. Uh, very tricky to do RTA. Uh, this run did not hit minip. I'm using a backup. Perfect. There's a centred. I like to see that. Yeah, I don't know about uh, the Totodile route, but the Cyndaquil route actually just requires a Centric because you need something that can learn Surf, which Centric weirdly can. Uh, but obviously we're getting Centric here specifically for Cut in this case. We just happen to find yeah, Centric's one. Centric's a, a bit faster for Totodile. You can get a Rattata instead, um, but it means you have to you have to teach Whirlpool to Totodile temporarily. Yeah. yeah. For To literally pass one Whirlpool, <laughs> so it's kind of silly. But it's it's workable. Also, we have Hunar in the chat. Hunar spent a lot of time working on um, routing and collecting trainer data for this. So, just get like to give him a shout out uh, for his work on this. Also, perhaps yeah, kind of help with the routing scene for the and, more on the and perhaps side. as well. Yeah. I've always wondered if killing a Hoppin would be beneficial. I'm gonna actually just let's 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 go on the fly here and see. <laughs> it knows absorb. Okay, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> so interestingly, um, the move sets of Pokemon in this game are slightly different as well. They're it's kind of a custom move set. Um, so you saw Totodile learns Water Gun at level six. I don't think in any vanilla game that is the case. Uh, correct. Yes. Closer to Torrent now, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I was not expecting Hoppip to know Absorb. I thought because, oh, Hoppip just knows Splash. It's probably going to be fine. It has Synthesis too, actually. Because oh, uh, I tried just... killing that once for Cyndaquil. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, the Torrent's not really going to help because uh, Rattata does not go down from one hit to Torrent Water Gun. The, the Pidgey actually does. But I didn't have Torrent on the Pidgey, so... And then I'm going to be taking the uh, the center uh, in Violet City because Sprout Tower is mandatory and Sprout Tower is kind of hard, so I want to make sure I save all my potions. Pick up another potion here. Yeah, this is one of Cyndaquil's biggest upsides over to Dial, as you can probably imagine. You kind of just kill everything in Sprout Tower, but there's going to be a lot of reasons. Maybe not a lot, but like, definitely like, a couple big reasons why Toto uh, Dial struggles less than Typhlosion later in the game. Yeah. In, uh, in 
Heart Gold Soul Silver, we don't. I don't. People probably have, I think people have Rotototed L, but it's not viable at all in terms of a fast route. Yeah. Uh, but this game kind of uh, overcomes some of those reasons, I imagine. I'm not familiar with that route specifically, but it's definitely a very viable option. The center is also nice there because if I end up dying in Throat Tower, which I am going to play it a bit safe with saving here and there, uh, at least I don't uh, go back to Mom. <laughs> I'm actually going to do the uh, berry, berry pouch for a faster uh, bag manips. So this does all the classic Gen 3 mechanics. Do um, bag manips, you can do run to bikes, run to walks, all that good stuff. I'm going to play it a bit safe with some good old bag manips, for most likely. Yeah be wondering how I'm going to be able to kind of get through this tower. Totoda, well, right here at level 8 I learn Rage, which helps a tiny bit. It definitely helps that um, as a result of the physical special split, um, Bellsprout's uh, Vine Whip does physical damage, which Totoda has quite a bit more defense, actually, than special defense. So. Yeah. And also what you just saw there with uh, Rage into Scratch. Uh, in earlier gens, Rage would just boost if you kept using Rage. But actually, if you use Rage in this game and then you get hit, it just straight up boosts your attack. Um, that's a later gen mechanic that was brought here, I think. Yeah, in gen 3 that started, actually. It's not okay, super okay. new. Yeah. But that, I just say that because it's used in the gen 2 speedrun, which is probably where it's most known. And there, you just have to keep using Rage. Just walk carefully around these guys. I'm gonna potion here for this fellow. I'm just gonna save for this. This guy's probably not too bad, but I'm just gonna play it a bit safe. At least in the at least until I beat Faulkner, and then after that it gets a bit better. This guy's kind of like the mini elder, kind of a similar team. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the elder, the uh, final elder is uh, is a fight. We'll we'll, tell, we'll say, just say that for now, and then uh, <laughs> we'll talk a little bit more when we get there. Yeah, so these are fine with and wrap. Um, ideally, like seeing wrap is kind of good because it can miss. Uh, fine with is not super amazing, but uh, first sight is good. So this uh, this hoodoo is about a seventy percent damage range for two shot, and I got it. It's good. So yeah, so saving kind of looked dumb there. It, it, that fight went really well. I will definitely be saving here because Elder Lee's Pokemon have uh, all three of them have a very bad move, which can troll significantly. Right, I actually forgot about this. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm actually going to equip the Orenberry now. Because I've got pretty good, I've got a bit better, uh, um, special defense. Because I'm, a uh, lonely. So, at all, but I sometimes use the Orenberry on Faulkner. I'm going to try it out here and see how this goes. Uh, this fight can go pretty badly, and having that extra little bit of safety is nice. These Bellsprouts are all pretty unfavorable two-shot ranges to start. I'm going to actually um, try to get a range boost here, so hopefully he uses Vine Whip again. Instead, we got the worst move. <laughs> Fantastic. So all three of these Pokemon have Flash. So I might actually switch out to sacrifice my uh, Centrip if... Uh, 
They're too mean. At least in this game, you'll know immediately if you miss. It'll just pop up right away. Yeah, that's true. That's uh. Oh, so Orangeberry. <laughs> I don't know how much. Uh... Did seventeen there? Okay, so I would have been dead. <laughs> I think I hit the scratch. Um. Okay, so now we're on the hoot hoot. This hoot hoot has fla it has flash, and I believe it also has hypnosis. Or it does have hypnosis. I'm not sure if it has flash as well. But uh, that is really good. Please hit the scratch. Okay, well there you go. Can't believe that. <laughs> that was so that good. That was such a good. That was a very good fight. Did not miss after flash and did not get put to sleep. Yeah, I golded that split by forty seconds. Wow. So this isn't uh, going to be a PB attempt, obviously, because I did the backup, but I am going to compare kind of to uh, my previous run that I did. Alright, so now we're off to the gym. This gym isn't too bad, but... Uh... A few, few more trolls here as well to keep in mind. So hopefully we see Peck from the Spiro because I believe that will knock me. That could knock me into Torrent. Okay, let's see how much it does. No, not nearly enough. Go to the L defense, just too good. Even with the level nine Spiro. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Torrent's nice for this fight here because these Pidgeys. Um, are at the very least damage ranges, and the second one's actually guaranteed with Water Gun and Torrent, but it, um, and they have uh, potentially bad moves. I can, I can imagine maybe you know Gust, what that is. Gust is good, that puts me in. Alright, perfect. So that means uh, I will not have to worry about Sand Attack on the second one. So here's where I get one of Totodel's very good moves on level up. Totodel's gonna get it, actually has a very good move set for the speedrun. That is physical bite. This is, there's the physical special split. Oh shit. Because I, did, I used the orange berry, I'm just gonna play it safe and use the second potion. Pull, and then I'm gonna save. Yeah, well, Bite has the same power as Water Gun. Obviously, we said before, Totodile's attack should be decently higher than its physical, uh, special attack here, so this is now Totodile's strongest move, so we're going to be using that quite a bit in the next yep. couple fights here. And because of because of that, you don't really use Torrent all that much in this run. Uh, you do use it here and there, and we'll, we'll go over the places where it is used later. I'm using Water Gun on this Pidgey because Bite would actually knock it into heal range. I got Gust there, which is very nice as well. This Pidgey has uh, Sand Attack. I want to see that. And this Pidgeotto is actually going for Tackle. It has Gust. Okay, it's using both of them. But I think because my defense is kind of low. Yeah, that's a range. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so we don't really know why. We don't really know why. I was going to get into what you were about to say, I think. Um, yeah, go ahead. Um, we don't really know why, but Totodile seems to not get Roost, which is Pidgeotto's like, signature move here. Or I guess, not signature, but he's about to oh, give out the TM right, for yeah. it. Um, he's about to give out Roost, and Cyndaquil seems to get Roost a lot, a lot more than Totodile ever does. And we don't really know why. Um, but it definitely makes this fight a lot better than I have to deal with Roost. <laughs> um, I, I say one day it'll happen, but like, <laughs> yeah. So that's a two. That's a two at uh, three at range with bites, about ninety percent. I don't want these yet.
It also has um, sand attack too, so not very good. All right, so now we have to we have to go back here and get the egg from Professor Elm's assistant. A very classic feature in Gen 2 and Johto games in general. And I'm going to actually go right ahead and do a PC heal and get rid of the egg and Centric as well, because there is a double battle coming up and... Oops. And it's uh, significantly faster with uh, just one Pokémon in the party. We'll save by the centric for now. Then head down to Union Cave. I really wish this guy gave a Mystic Water. That would be somewhat helpful. <laughs> it's like Game Freak always knew that the Grass type needed a buff, so they always just gave the Miracle Seed after the first gym. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mystic Water is actually like in a really inconvenient spot. Yeah. Charcoal is actually in a good. And Charcoal is a little bit of a detour, but at least it's. Simple. Yeah. And even if you're not going to use it, it sells for a lot of money. So I mean, money is pretty tight in the early game, so it's really helpful to have. Yeah, I never understood why the charcoal sells for so much. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't make it's a lot of sense. <laughs> Some nice safe bag manips to get past that spinner. You still have the berry juice registered, right? Or berry pouch? Berry? The berry pouch? Uh, I might. Oh, yeah, but I don't know if I have a uh, berry in there. I might actually. I always, for I always forget to. I always forget that. Yeah, I still do. I'm gonna just change it to the TM case. I'll be using that to go into the TM right. yeah, case and actually sense. teach moves later. So. So I need to hit a very specific level threshold at for one very potentially scary fight later on. So I do have to fight two optional trainers, um, and this is one of them. Although this option will actually benefit you quite a bit outside of the yes. fact that it's just the extra experience because it gives us access to the TM for Rock Tomb, which is going to be very useful for Thursday. Very, very useful. Oh yeah. That Vulpix has a move which can be can be annoying, although it is won't, doesn't really wouldn't really make too much of a difference on the on that fight. Um, it's called Baby Doll Eyes. If anyone's familiar with that move, it's awful. And it's very bad for physical attackers, and we'll be seeing a lot more of that later. Hopefully not, though. I picked up a, a hidden X speed, which is nice because I. Uh, um, we'll need one later. I will be buying some, but money's a bit tight, so I pick up a couple extra hit hidden X items as well. And I'm still doing the regular bag uh, bag minute, even though I have the TM case. <laughs> That's okay. What? And there I, sc <laughs> I screwed up. <laughs> okay, there we go. Did it. Okay, second optional is here. Uh, it's. Hiker and not Anthony. Yes, yes, Anthony. Yep. Okay. It's in my notes. I should be reading them. Ah, uh, it is Anthony. Uh, so he's got um, two Pokemon here. Pretty, pretty easy pickings. Yeah, one of all the. This... Sorry. Go ahead. The um, these two these two trainers give all pretty much exactly the, the amount of extra experience I need for that level threshold. And one thing I should think about maybe doing is not doing the P the PC heal in Violet because I think Torrent in the rain might knock out that Machop. Looks like it would. That's fine. Picked up a hidden full heal there. These a lot of the items on the ground in this game are based on their locations in uh, gen, the Gen 4 games. Uh, there are 
Some of them are in slightly different spots, though. And there are some that are actually in, like, Gen 2 locations, I think, as well. Yeah, it's a Should weird, it's a weird mix for sure. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm going to do a quick menu here. I'm actually going to teach Rock Tomb to Totodile. Uh, in this game, we talked about some of the mechanics, or later gen mechanics, so Rock Tomb is actually good now. It's not a garbage move like it was in the original Gen 3s. So it has 95 accuracy and 60 base power. So it's pretty much a slightly more inaccurate fight. And it helps out on quite a few fights, including uh, Bugsy's gym. That was a huge uh, thing we uh, realized. Yes, uh, Psychic Champion. This is on MGBA. But generally for ROM hacks, we uh, require... We have, like, rules for ROM hack speedruns. We usually require MGBA uh, for the emulator. Um, depending on the ROM hack, it might not work Might not work on MGBA, so sometimes we allow other ROM hacks. Our emulators like BizHawk or even BBA. We try to avoid B BBA, though. That's not a very good emulator. So Muhiro, this is a ROM hack, so there's actually no game category specifically for the ROM hack itself. So because this is kind of a, um, a fire-red-based fire ROM hack, that is why the category is fire-red. It's, kind of, it's kind of a weird kind of gray area. Um, we could put the category as gold, silver, crystal, or even heart, gold, soul, silver. So it's, uh, <laughs> but uh, you have to kind of pick one, so yeah. that's kind of how it goes. Yes, Psychic Champion, there is a route. It should be on the SRC... Oh, actually, no, it's not even on SRC. It's in the Discord. It's, po it's uh, pinned in the Discord. The ROM Hacks and Fan Games speedrunning Discord. Yeah. We'll definitely link that, uh, that Discord at some point during this run because it'd be great if a lot of people... Attack. Decided to check out ROM hacks for speedruns. It's very, it's a very fun thing. If you like, if you like routing and just you know, playing a game you haven't really touched before, it can be really fun sometimes. Ooh, nice crit. Yeah, that was actually a really good crit because um, with my special attack, I can go for bite plus two water guns rather than water gun times three to go for the flinch and. Um, it's a pretty favorable range, it's not guaranteed, and that roll was probably a min roll from the bite, so that was a very good water gun crit. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to just heal real quick, so you don't get a free heal. I'm not sure in the Gen 4 games whether you get a free heal here. Pretty sure you meeting. don't. Pretty sure you don't. Okay. That's what I figured. In the Gen 2 games you do. So I am going to heal that poison off, and because my HP is a tiny bit low, I will just play it safe, in case I miss in the gym somewhere. Yeah, so without Rock Team, a lot of these things would just not die. There's like two mandatory trainers in this gym, one of them's going to be a bit funny for a fight, but you'll see. Um, Rock yeah. Team like, saves a lot of time over the course of this gym, like a lot of time. So this fight's the first fight. We'll see where it saves sometime. It saves a turn. Might even save two, actually. So I think the Kakuna might be a two-shot without it. I don't think it would die to bite, yeah. Or Water Gun. Yeah, if you had Torrent, you could keep Torrent and then or Water Gun, maybe, but yeah. Which might actually be a better idea than healing here, but I, didn't, I was just worried about Beedrill, uh, Missing on Beedrill, then it, uh, I think it has Fury Attack. So that could be a problem. Uh, yeah, I, I would think so. 
Okay, so you see, I just hit 18 here. I do evolve. This is not the level threshold I was talking about. That That is coming up in a bit. But uh, having Croconaw uh, for Bugsy is super nice. Which you would not have if you didn't fight optionals. Yeah, you'll see... I mean, even even though the optional, we fought two optionals kind of slow before, you'll see that the level threshold that we're talking about here is pretty much just essential. Like, it's just like, the fight would be so much worse if you didn't hit it. Okay, so what am I do? Uh, do, 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 do? Oh my god, I'm not paying attention. Okay, don't hit the switch. So here we're going to see a I very don't... funny mechanic in Gen 3 with double battles coming up here. <laughs> um... Yeah, so we only have one Pokemon in our party, so we're gonna see what happens, what the game decides to do with it, because obviously the trainers still fight us even with one Pokemon. <laughs> we have duplicated our main. Temporarily, yes. <laughs> So having Sentret there would just be it would just be an extra turn, and they would get a hit off of the on you, and then it would be a problem. Eventually, I don't know what the Lediba and the Spinarak have, but I don't imagine they have great moves. So uh... yeah, <laughs> I would imagine that. I did save here. I could save, but uh, this fight's generally not too bad. Um, all I need to do is just hit uh, very, t in particular, one rock tomb. The others, I can, hit, I, uh, it's not a huge deal, but I really want to hit the first one. So first up is Scyther. It went for focus energy, which is good. It does no U-turn, and I hit the rock tomb. So that's pretty much a guaranteed win now. Yeah, since rock tomb is four times effective on Bugsy's ace, you just, yeah, the fight just becomes basically trivial without Scyther, to be honest, because Kakuna and Metapod are pretty helpless. Uh, the old strat was to use Rage. Um, that actually didn't work too badly because um, the Kakuna and the Metapod only know Bug Bite, which is a, which they don't know Harden, which is good. <laughs> um, and they can't really poison you either, so you don't have to deal with those kinds of shenanigans, but it was a very, very slow fight um, without Rock Tomb there. And uh, getting the Scyther done first is good because it makes the, the you level up for the Metapod and the range improves dramatically. So uh, still missed it anyways. Though. <laughs> Sorry. We still missed it anyways, though, right? <laughs> I have missed. I have missed it on the uh, at nineteen four. Okay, so now I'm actually gonna grab Centret because I need. I'm gonna be teaching Cut soon, and I, though I can teach Cut to uh, Croconaw, and you can actually write over HM moves in this hack. Um, I don't really want to teach Cut because actually I'm just gonna withdraw. I would. No, I sometimes PC heal if my HP is low. My HP is actually full, so I'm gonna do that. We'll just withdraw. It's just better to teach Cut to the Centret, because I'm also going to have to teach uh, Whirlpool to the Centret later as well. So it makes sense to have the Centret. All right, Rival 2. This is traditionally one of the worst fights in the game. This fight's actually not too bad because of the optionals I fought earlier. So first up, I can just knock out Ghastly at night because it's physical, and Ghastly has horrendous defense. Totodile has, or Crocodile has really good uh, physical attack. I hit level 20 and I learn Ice Fang just in time for Bayleaf. I'm gonna write over Leer. And if you see my EXP bar at the bottom, I am barely level 20. Oh wow. And then I just need to Ice Fang the Bayleaf twice, and that's a really good uh, wow. of luck there. <laughs> Yeah, so Cynical has a miserable time with this fight because it does not even have close to the answer that Totodile has here. Yeah, that's um, a perfect fight. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, if you if you crit the Bayleaf, I believe it does not die, and it's an overgrow. And mm. if it crits Razor Leaf, you're dead. <laughs> so that, that that's a potential problem. Don't really want to deal with that if we can here. I'm actually going to take a few extra steps just for some extra safety. Huh. So crit can sometimes not kill, but the two shots guaranteed. Oh wait, no, I understand why. Yeah, it's yeah. fifty. It's fifty percent. Yeah. 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 I'm going to pick up a revive here. Uh, not required for PB attempts, but very nice thing to have for Marathon. So now we have to herd the Farfetch'd back to its master, or its trainer. Once again, mirroring the overworld of Gen 4. It seems to lean. Yep. Just got to center it. Uh, having full HP coming out of the rival fight is really good as well because. There are a couple of tra trainers that I'm going to be fighting before Whitney, which can deal damage, and having full HP means those fights, uh, it's very unlikely to have to heal in those battles, or before those battles. And just like the classic games, I'm going to grab Headbutt. This is a tutor in this game. And I'm actually going to write over Water Gun here. Temporarily not have a stab move. Water Gun is just not a very good move, and again, Croconaw does not have very good special attack, so I actually have much better use with my other four moves. But I will be getting a very good uh, special attack later. So that'll be uh, good, but for now, we don't really need Water Gun or any water moves for that matter. And picking up an extra full heal there as well, just for some extra safety. Right, my computer blue screen. <laughs> so I'm actually going to go into Goldenrod here. I'm going to enter the center just to set a warp point later, and um, the warping will explain what that's how what that's going to entail in a little bit. And then get the good old bicycle. And this is the tr the classic Fire and Leaf Green bike. No mock bike or anything like that. So this is um, an area. I don't know if, what they do in Gen 4. I know in Gen 2 they go, come in from the top. But we have to go fight, come down here anyway to fight these trainers later for the rocket uh, radio tower section. So we're gonna, oh, headbutt's here. Uh, we're gonna actually do this uh, now, just to get some extra experience and to pick up a couple useful items as well. I missed the second hard uh, Grimer range, but that's fine, use Harden. So these Grimers are 12 and 16 ranges each. Pretty easy fight. I think the difference here between both Gen oh, sorry, two and both Gen two and Gen four. I think the um the basement's actually on the top of this floor. So I think that I think for yeah. some reason it's just on the bottom. I, just just in this game. So it's just yeah. Got a. So there's an example of a crit. Um, not knocking out the Lickitung. Uh, that's a two-shot, pretty clean two-shot, and so with the older crit mechanics, that would have been a guaranteed Oko with uh, with Bite, but the crits aren't terribly helpful. They do help in some cases, so uh, we'll explain a few of those later on. Picked up the coin case as well as um, 
a super potion for extra safety. And I'm actually going to go to the game corner here. And I'm going to buy... Hundred coins, and then I'm gonna get a, grab a prize, and that's an Abra. And we'll be using Abra a couple times to teleport around the overworld. Whoops, I want to go this way. Whoops. Twice. <laughs> And then finally go up to here to talk to the girl by the Sudowoo tree and also grab ourselves a Pokemon affectionately known as Kenya, although this game, it doesn't have a nickname for some reason. I refer to it as Kenya because we like Kenya. Kenya's a good mod. Fortunately, it's not level 20, I think, like it is in Arkles of Silver, right? No, it's level 10, I believe. Yeah. So it would have been very nice to have. But it still is. We get a flyer for basically free. Oh! Oh, yeah. That'll happen. <laughs> X-ray vision from Juggler Irwin. Shoutouts to level 2 Voltorb. What's my speed? What's my speed? Uh, IV twenty five. Okay, that's, this isn't really gonna matter, I don't think. But I'm gonna be picking up some speed EVs here. Well, it's four EVs, so it has to matter, right? It's always gonna be it, one IV. It, it it won't matter for the fight I'm thinking of. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because I believe I need to have twenty seven or twenty eight speed. I don't know why I rock tube there. I should used. Just the fight. Uh, this might... Ooh, this is interesting. I'm just gonna bite. Uh, bite, because I have the bites. A bit slow, but uh, not the end of the world. I do hit 22 here, I think. I don't think this matters for... It might actually matter a tiny bit for the uh, first trainer in Whitney's Gym, because I'm a higher level now. Rock Tomb is very nice for that Bananet as well. Um, prior to rock, using Rock Tomb, there was no, really no move that could one-shot that, and then it pretty much has three, if not four, status moves. And so Cyndaquil obviously would have an easy time with that, with uh, its Fire-type attacks. Yeah. Okay, I want to go down here, because that's a trainer. <laughs> Teleport back to Goldenrod. There's yet another super potion here. I'm just going to grab that for more safety, and then I'm going to go shopping. Did not know about that one. Yeah, as we said before, money is pretty tight at this point in the game, um, so we're going to be just buying as, like, as much as we really can. There's a lot of things you can buy, but, um, you know, we're going to have to make another stop at some point. Yeah. Bit extra money now. I don't know. I can't remember how much I got from uh, the juggler. Yeah, I don't remember but either. I might, but I might be able to buy one extra uh, item later on. Alright, off to the gym. This 
This shit feels like it looks a little bit different than earlier versions of this ROM. Which, I think it looks kind of cool. So this Snubble normally is a 97% 3 hit range. Uh, because I don't have any physical, uh, special attacks, I have to use a headbutt. Being 22, now I might actually be able to 3 hit this with a guaranteed uh, 3 hits. Didn't get paralyzed, that's good. Alright. Very nice. I'm not sure I'll get 23 for... Uh, for Whitney. I'll definitely get it for the... I'll probably get it for the mill tank, but... Okay, so this fight is... This fight's very interesting. So I talked earlier about this great move called Baby Doll Eyes. And I say great, but it's, it's really not. Um, so <laughs> I will actually be using a guard spec here, because all three of these Jigglypuff have Baby Doll Eyes, and I don't have any special attacks. Hmm. Interesting. Ha! <laughs> Protected by Mist. Uh, the one problem with this fight, though, is that the, the last two Jigglypuffs are damage ranges, so that's something uh, that hopefully doesn't play in here. Okay, that's one. Ooh, my, H my experience looks interesting. Let's see what happens after Ooh, yeah, Jigglypuff. we're getting 23 for Clefairy, for sure. And I got both ranges, cool. I wonder if I can skip an X attack on Whitney. I mm. might be able to. I don't know. Earlier versions of this route, which got less experience, ended up not using 3x attacks here. I'm going for going for ranges. I'm gonna save just to be safe. I'll probably just play it normally, like I normally would, but uh, that's something I'll look into maybe later if I hit an optional. Alright, so this fight is not nearly as bad as in uh, vanilla versions, so the Clefairy does not have Metronome, but it has... Um, it, can, it can still be annoying. For a couple of reasons. That's a good start. That's bad. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I think I think if it used mimic or double slap that turn, I would have just gone for the gone for the gone for the kill uh, to get to just go away with uh, with a track. Okay, that's fine. I got I got the one shot. That's totally good. So mill tank is um, a two shot, as you could probably imagine. I think it's gonna do Stop way more than half. Good. I'm gonna yeah. actually Ice Fang turn two. That saves a headbutt, and a headbutt, sir. Our an extra headbutt would be nice to have for later. That was a bit risky though, because as we all know, Ice Fang is 95% accurate. But that's okay. But very good. Yeah, that mill tank also has a track, so uh, yeah, we don't want to deal with that ideally. In an ideal world, we would just always been at female starters just for this whole, just for this gym because it's actually such a problem. Yep. But it, it's one to eight, one and eight to get a female starter, so it's just kind of not reasonable to do that. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so I'm going to Oop. get back here. I'm going to get the, uh, the squirt bottle. Oops, I talked for twice. Oops. I'm also going to do something, uh, it's not part of the speedrun, but I'm going to nickname my Spiro Kenya because it should be good. Yes! Kenya. Amazing idea. Dying to Oops. do that. Oops. Oh! Oh my goodness, I'm screwing this up horribly. This is what I get for trying to do lowercase spelling. <laughs> because this isn't a PB attempt, I can have a bit of fun with this. <laughs> I 
This is one of those trainers you can run to bike in PV attempts. Um, yeah. But Iron's opting to play safer for good reason. Okay, I only have to worry about that one trainer here. But, uh... I think, did I hit the rotator or did I hit the spinner? Because one of them is a run is a rotator. Uh, I think Irwin's the spinner. Okay. At least it is in I probably just gone Gen there. 2. Okay. HP is not bad either. Don't really need to heal for the next fight. So, Sudowood, I'm actually going to go a little bit out of my way here to get Rock Smash HM. Uh, that's not something you normally would use in a Johto game, but it is very, very important to get this for to get one very specific, very, very important item for later, which we'll talk about. Okay, these are, these so are not doubles. Game. Yeah, this is not a double battle, but both of these fights are still terrible. Flinch. Okay, that's good. No flinch and... or I got the flinch and no cute charm. They all have cute charm and I only have... well, I have rock tomb which doesn't make contact but it's not a super optimal move to use. I'm gonna headbutt this because I have an extra one. And I got sing. Okay. We'll, uh, we'll wake up. And then they also have Defense Curl. <laughs> and I think some of them have Growl too. The, Cl the, Fab the Clefables might have Growl. Why do I only have two Headbutts left? I, I had an extra one. Alright, so it turns out I didn't have an extra Headbutt. That's interesting. Uh... That's okay. We'll be fine. I'm trying to remember where I would have used that other Headbutt. Well, your notes say to just never Headbutt that Wigglytuff at all, right? You did it twice. Yeah, but I had I didn't headbutt turn two on the uh, mill tank, so I thought I saved one. I got cute charm and flinch, and then I missed, and then disable. What is this? <laughs> what is happening? That wow, <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was that was a ride right there. Let me tell you that. It's kind of an issue having ice fang disabled. Okay, I got him with rock tomb. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so I'm gonna. Oh, and I got to save a little more. That's fine, because I will headbutt this Fable. Got the, got the flinch. Wow, and I'm just gonna ice fan. Okay, that that actually was better than average, surprisingly. I normally get trolled a lot worse than that. <laughs> that was something. <laughs> okay, so I'm actually gonna go into the center here. This is, as you probably know if you've ever played Johto games, very slow because of the bill cutscene. But again, this is to set a warp point for uh, for later. And I'm also going to take a heal at the center as well. My uh, PP is pretty low, uh, particularly headbutt. I'm going to need, be needing lots of headbutts for the next uh, little bit. So yeah, I guess I guess I'll say this. Um, after Morty, you get Surf, and as a result, you can go west to. Seen wood to get fly from Chuck after you beat him, but there's a very specific reason why most mains, if not all special mains, would want to go instead east to um, Mahogany instead. So as a result, teleport's going to be putting in a lot of work until we get to Seen wood. Okay, got the, hit the rock tomb. So these, uh, all these evolutions are not are horrible. They're all horrendous. They all have. Um... One bet, one move that's very bad. I'm not going to mention what it is, but you might be able to tell if you've been watching this run so far. <laughs> yeah. What that might be. I'm not going to jinx it though. That's the last place Rock Tomb is used, by the way. I don't use it anymore after that Flareon. The nice uh, Water Gun would not be able to one-shot that. Okay, we got Quick Attack. That's fine. I'll take that. Nice. Oh no, we have a Flareon copy pasta in the chat. <laughs> oh no. 
Uh, Umbreon is by far the worst because it's a three shot range. Uh, very favorable though, 98%. Uh, With said move. Because of, because of said move, it could be much, much worse. Flinch? Oh, that's a that's a thing too, by the way. Um, I'm gonna actually. Uh, Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna actually do this. I really do not want to use that full heal. Just flinch. It did it again. Yeah, I don't. Uh, let's switch to Abra. Oh, <laughs> that's pursuit. <laughs> so good. What a meme. I got That's... totally outplayed there. <laughs> and then I get the move. <laughs> so this might not die. It didn't. Cool. It's got not very effective text, but at least it's guaranteed to hit. And I could get past this nightmare. So I'm going to fight Jolteon next. Uh, actually, I don't think it matters. I could fight Vaporeon first. Uh, the reason why I would normally fight Jolteon before Vaporeon is I'd level up. Normally would level up to 26. Uh, for the Vaporeon, making the Vaporeon a uh, very short uh, three-hit range. Now I got Baby Doll Eyes turn one. This hopefully is fine. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. Wow. In my cell is not so nice, but... I almost killed. Yeah. And then I get five turn pin missile. Very nice. This has so, been going. Yeah, these things all have priority moves, and they and then the Jolteon has pin missile, which is uh, which control like that as well. Uh, the Jolteon is the only one of the five that's faster. I'm actually faster than Espeon. Espeon has a minus speed nature, I think, so it's uh, it's slower in all cases. Oh, I lied. It's it, this makes the the head before I a guaranteed two hit range at 26, but because I got okay, please critical. Uh, I'm gonna switch to this uh, just to yeah, just to save a little bit of save the headbutts. I think it's not a huge deal though. Fight that's that's fine. Okay, we got all the baby doll eyes right at the end, but I didn't get any on the first two fights, so the first two fights went pretty well. That was, uh, that was a thing. Okay, so now we're gonna get Surf. Uh, we mentioned that there's some later gen mechanics in this game. Uh, so Surf actually only has 90 power, it's kind of like later gens. Which, uh... It would be a little bit more helpful if it was uh, a little bit stronger, but that's okay. We'll make it work. Andy. Got a couple nice hidden items here. And... There's something I keep forgetting to add to my notes. My notes say, heal to survive Razor Leaf from Bay Leaf, and I don't have Razor Leaf ranges. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just, so just going to use a Super Potion. It probably does, like... 40. <laughs> with, a, with a crit, it definitely would kill. Uh, and then I'm going to use... Ah, uh, the egg lag is a thing. Very apparent here. Teaching Surf. Rock 2. Yeah, so you encounter that bag lag in a lot of places, like when you're passing spinners, when you're using X items in battle. It's like, it loses easily minutes over the course of the run. Yeah, probably at most a minute, I would say. Okay, this fight is, uh... I don't know how it... How, how is this for Cyndaquil? It's pretty easy for, uh, for Totodile. I can't imagine uh, it'd be good for Cyndaquil. I don't know. Um... I think it's, again, I think it's a similar situation to before. I think it actually is really bad, because of the Haunter, mostly. Um, you, you can't kill it in his curse. Yeah. Do you have Flame Wheel, though? Flame Wheel is physical. I'm not sure if that would 
KO the Haunter. Yeah, no, it doesn't kill unless you're in Blaze. Oh, okay. But I only have to hit one Ice Fang on this Bayleaf. So I bite turn one because bite's more accurate, doesn't have super effective text. And it can also flinch, so it's totally the safest thing to do there. And then I'm going to surf the Zubat. I think Ice Fang kills, but Ice Fang can miss. So yeah. Just surf. We usually did like 25 there. Critting was like barely doing over half. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's crazy. We, you know, killed me. Yeah. <laughs> That's insane to me. Alright, so now we're going to release the beasts. Uh, we talked about Crystal Dust earlier. In at least the earlier uh, version of the game, you can actually just escape Rebotavir without releasing the beast because um, getting to Morty's gym is not locked behind releasing them for whatever reason. And there's some really weird um, glitch that happens. Uh, it's not, it doesn't really affect the speedrun all that much, but it's just a funny like NPC thing. But uh, we have to release the beasts, unfortunately. Uh, we're not going to be catching them, but um, they might show up. We'll see. Okay, so Morty's gym. So this gym is pretty free. Um, there's one one Pokemon that I'm going to be slower than. Or I might be speed tied with, actually. What's my speed ID? It's 25, right? Okay, so yeah, I might... Yeah, you're the four. Essentially 26, right? I, so... So I might actually be speed tied with it now instead of slower. So maybe we'll actually see that. I might actually be a higher level too because of the optional as well. Yeah, you're definitely tied. I mean, your your IV is essentially six twenty six now, right? Yeah, I would say so. I don't exactly remember. It might. Yeah, yeah. It actually, it's, because of the four EVs, it definitely would. So for this fight, I'm just going to use Bite. You can use Ice Fang on these things, but Ice Fang can miss. And I don't really want to deal with the shenanigans that these ghastlies would subject me to, so I'm going to just use Bite. I think we did talk about uh, Not a Doctor a little bit earlier um, in the run, why I'm using Twitter. You can actually use Cynical. Cynical is very good as well. Um, and Headbob on commentary here actually has wrote in Cynical, but I just wrote in Totodile uh, in parallel to that, and so that's why I'm using Totodile, because that's the Pokemon that I uh, decided to try out. And it, end it ends up being pretty good. There's a certain reason in this game why getting means to the end of the game is very difficult. Obviously, red's a thing, but Totodile seems to handle it surprisingly a lot better than Cynical does. That's one of the biggest reasons why, like, it loses a bit of time. Ooh, I'm gonna level up here. Oh, there's, there's something about this hack that is not right, even still to this day after all these updates, that really makes main struggle. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, even though I've leveled up here, I'm just gonna, I'm actually gonna do the candy now, because I'm supposed to candy to 30, and so I'm just gonna do that here. Relegator very early into this, this run. Very nice. So now I'm definitely faster than uh, this next Haunter. So the Haunter coming up here, um, normally I'd be slower than it, but because I hit that optional, I would have been tied if I was level 28. However, I was I leveled up to 29, so I would definitely would have been faster. And on top of that, I have to candy to 30 anyway, so I might as well just do that here. And uh, Gator, I do not want to learn agility. That's not a useful move. Big downgrade from Crunch, like I guess in Heart Gold Soul Silver. <laughs> At the Evo. Me, but... Oh yeah, we do. I will be getting Crunch shortly, but I won't. You don't get it on level up here. So anyone who's familiar with the Gen Three for Alligator Back Sprite and is a fan of the Big Booty, unfortunately, that is not the case here. They did change the Back Sprite, so let's get some Fs in chat for Big Booty for Alligator. That's so sad. This is the Heart Gold Soul Silver one, I want to say. That might be right, actually. But a lot of the gen, a lot of the Gen three, a lot of sprites in this game are Gen three. Anyway, but I 
That's okay. So yeah, for alligators, a beast. <laughs> I'll just say that at this point in the game, it's an absolute monster. I don't need to heal, actually, my HP is really solid. If it's not the hard gold, I'm looking at it right now, if it's not the hard gold soul silver one, it's very, very close. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna be 31 for the Gengar, which means that it might be a guaranteed range. Well, that's sick. Uh... Bite for this whole which gym is, is just good. a blessing. It's like such a blessing. So you can do this fight as Croconaw, but you would have to set up an X special somewhere, and because all but one of Haunt Morty's Pokemon knows Curse, that's not something I really want to deal with, so the strat for this fight is just to spam Surf on his first two Pokemon, and then set up an X speed on the Gengar in order to outspeed it. Uh, because I'm going to be hitting level 31, the Gengar is going to go from probably a 13 and 16 to 15 and 16, or maybe even guaranteed. Um, guaranteed range with Bite. I got plus 3 on attack there, I think, so that's, that might actually just make it guaranteed. I don't actually know for sure, though. I'm just going to use an X speed. See what he does. Shadow Ball is fine. Although I do do want to hit that. Okay, that's fine. Got the crit. That'll do it. Almost torrent. Surely. I got cursed body. That's fine though, because I surf the hunter. <laughs> Not All a very right, nice good. ability. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty brutal. But interestingly, it doesn't have Levitate, so you could actually go for Ground-type moves on it. Yes, Maybe. actually, yeah. Huh. I wonder if the Haunters and the Ghastly in that fight have it, too. I don't think... I think they still have Levitate and Vanilla, so I would think... Oh, okay. Uh... Kurt's asking what level I am at the end of the chat, and Dioscar has responded with the funny number. It actually is the funny number. Funny enough. <laughs> it's a good guess. I could have bought another potion there. But if I hit a bunch of optionals, that might be 70. So we'll see. Come on, no Iron, you got this. <laughs> <laughs> I already hit one, so... I'm just going to pick up this Max Potion for some extra safety. It's a nice little... Nicely located there. You see in the shop there, I bought some potions. I'm going to be using those to manipulate my HP for Torrent later. I talked about Torrent not being used a whole lot, but it is used in, very, in some cases, so... All right, coming up here is a spot where I got, I saw Raikou twice in 13 seconds. Let's hope it doesn't happen here. There's two routes that I generally see the legendaries, and this is one of them. And did not. That's very Important. sad. Or good, depending on your point of view. So running from the Gyarados. I think I have seen the Gyarados at speed before, although... Hmm. That could be a problem. Wait, where are we going? Okay, so going up here to grab a really nice item. Also, I think if I get on the... Um, if I hop on the bike and then immediately grab an item, there's a bit of lag. So yeah. there's probably not bike there. Because of the music, I imagine. There's also a nice little rare candy here. Grab the choice specs, that's a really good item. Although not as useful for, for Alligator as it is for uh, Flosion. But it is used quite a bit. So 
somewhat new. I actually put on the specs now. And use that warp point and Ecrotik to teleport back there. And that's, I think, the last time Abra's used. Shoutouts to Abra. I'll be getting Fly shortly. Alright, so here's another route where I could potentially see one of the legendaries. Hello! Yes, that was a All right, I have one. Pokeballs. I'm going to throw a ball at this. I have no use for this thing, but it would be a great hype, a great hype moment for the stream. Sag. See ya. Not even a shake. What? Not fair. Yeah, that was uh, very unfortunate. Oh, I could have run into that optional. So you might be thinking, oh, I could just potentially main switch to Raikou. Uh, or probably not NK, but Raikou, but I haven't really routed that, and uh, Fralligator does a pretty decent job. And it's not manipped as well, so it's uh, it would be really difficult to kind of figure out a strat for that, and it's such a low percentage occasion if you were to catch it, so... Yeah, getting the Master Ball would be a very difficult feat without yep. manip. So it would be quite an issue. Funny thing, I was actually doing some routing for this uh, for this hack with the newest, I guess the newest patch, and I accidentally talked to the lottery person in the uh, radio tower, and I actually got the master ball. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's so funny! I can't believe that. It was quite epic. You see, there I also picked up. Protein God Item, and Protein is an extremely God Item in this game. We'll talk a little bit later about why, um, but they buffed they buffed Vitamins in this in this hack. So if there's any any time Protein was a God Item, it is now. Didn't know that. I guess I can talk about it now. So generally, uh, for Vitamins, uh, they would boost your EVs by ten, so effectively giving you two and a half IVs roughly. Um, I'm headbutting these things. Um, but in this hack, uh, they changed it so it's 64 IVs. So I don't know how many what? IV or EVs rather. So I don't know how many IVs that's worth. That's a lot. It's that's 16 IVs. 14 or 16, yeah. Holy moly! <laughs> I did not know that. The obvious disadvantage with. Uh, of that is that you kind of max out your IV EVs really fast because there is a limit on how many you can get. Um, I think it's 256 for stat and then 512 total um, across all your stats. So I will be using the vitamins very, very strategically to g get a specific amount of EVs later on. I So hitting optionals might actually yield some strange effects later on. Um, however, with the one optional I did hit, which is the speed EVs, that actually does not, is not going to matter at all, because I will be using a Carbos later. And um, I will be using the Carbos uh, as my fourth vitamin. So it will, And that last vitamin will max out my EVs, so it will, won't make a difference at all. The vitamin will just give me less, but I'll have the same amount of speed at the end of the day. Okay, so there is that trainer. You can just walk out of his vision down the bottom. And so you can pass him pretty easily. This Meryl. Meryl is for some reason a really bulky Pokemon. I still don't really understand why. So this might. Uh, that's a range normally, but it's very likely. And I got it, so that's all good. It's one of those cases where having Torrent uh, would help beyond that barrel. Hey, okay, solve Raptors at 68. So this is Fire Gold is a Pokemon 
uh, ROM hack. Uh, it's based off of Fire Red Leaf Green. And uh, it's based in Johto. So it's effectively a Gen 3 skin of the Johto games. It's either, yeah, Gen 2 Remake and Fire Leaf Green, or a Gen 4 Demake. Because it's got a lot of elements from the Heart Gold Soul Silver games as well. Like the Lighthouse. Either way, good game. Very good game, though, yes. I've. <laughs> I just. <laughs> <laughs> well, ho hopefully there's an ad there. Hopefully nobody saw that. Hopefully there's an ad there. <laughs> um, okay, I have to think very carefully what move I want to use here. I'm going to use Ice Fang. I do have the choice specs on, so hopefully this guy doesn't have a... I should have actually not used Ice Fang. I should have used Headbutt or something. Uh, because if he has a water type, I'm kind of... It might be a water type. Oh, no, no, no. I think it's just three of chops. Okay, perfect. Alright, we get some extra attack. -y. Oh, he has a Poliwhirl. Uh, oh. We'll just do this. It should two shot. Yeah. Ooh, am I gonna get Torrent here? Double Slap only does one damage. Uh. Okay, the good news is I don't have to pass that guy again later, but... Yeah, I know, Juan Lear. I talked about that earlier. The game hates fun. <laughs> don't want to keep this, this game PG-13, I guess. <laughs> okay, so that, that optional might influence things. We'll see, because those are attack EVs. I think I'll be fine, though. More optionals. I think with the uh, with the speed, it's not as big of a an issue, so I could be a little bit flexible. Okay, so we're gonna get strength here. Strength is actually um, again a very good move. I'm gonna use that on uh, on Gator as well because uh, it's just really solid. Physical attack. I'm actually gonna teach it right now. So do a quick menu here. Uh, TM case. Teaching strength to Gator. Let's thank Ice Fang for its service. And then I'm going to use a. I'll just use the max potion because it's a single item in the inventory. So better just get that out of there. And then I'm gonna use a super pal. Then I'm going to use the first of my god items. As far as I know, Ice Fang used to be like a big part of the route, right? Before we found Ice Beam instead. Well, yeah, it was. We'll talk a little bit more later as to why. Yeah. I ended up finding a good replacement for it. That has the uh, the type of the type uh, benefits, but it's not as useful now. It's pretty much good just for getting past rival two <laughs> and a few other fights here and there. Okay, so I talked about the protein giving 64 EVs. It actually that that protein is so good it makes this Hitmonlee a damage range. So it is about a five and sixteen range. I did fight the extra. Okay, well, I did it. But I did fight that option as well, so that might have... That could have helped, too. Yes, we have the Protein Command. Love to see it. Though generally vitamins are god items in this, not just Protein. I don't think it has much of a ring to it. Vitamin god item. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I like that emote as well. Okay, so this fight is, um... It's not too bad, but, um... We might see a big brain play by Chuck while I'm setting up here. X attack. Okay. Lear, that's half of the big brain play. Let's see if he does the second half of it. Attack. 
Double leer. Okay, that's that's fine. So he, he sometimes goes leer into focus blast. Focus blast is a special attack. Also, shoutouts to Big Banky. Gnosis. Oh, that's such a good miss because I have no full heals. <laughs> Okay, cool. That was a good fight. That's, uh... Yeah, that would have been really bad if I had gotten put to sleep there. So, some of the some of the uh, pokes on uh, major battles in this game have... They have Citrus Berry, so you want to set up um, a little bit extra so that even with the Berry proc, you can still two-shot. So that's an example of that there. We're going to see another one later on. Uh, don't worry that, and then talk to... Grab Fly, and then we're also going to do the, uh, the big RNG moment of the run. We're going to get a Shuckle here. However, this Shuckle needs to have one ability. One of two abilities. Let's keep that in mind. There, it has two possible abilities. You're just building up here and you're just gonna get it first try. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> In PB attempts, I never get it at all until like the 20th try or something. Okay, we saw Gluttony. So, yeah. Chuckle has two abilities. One of them is Gluttony, which is... It's a it's whatever. Um, its second ability is Sturdy. It, we absolutely need Sturdy. It, we cannot finish this run without Sturdy. Unless we want to make this a Talance run, which we don't want. We want to go to red. Hey! Let's go! That wasn't too slow. Very nice. Wow. Second try is totally good. Totally fine. That's probably the best I've ever had, actually. Usually it's like I'm sitting there for like five minutes. <laughs> okay. Do a quick menu here. Teach a couple. A few TMs. Or HMs, rather. Teach Fly to, to Kenya. It's called Kenya now. And then I'm gonna teach I'm actually gonna teach strength again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach it to Shuckle. Um You might be wondering, hey, what well, you've already taught it to Gator. Uh, why would you teach it to Shuckle? Well in this game you can actually write over HM moves. So I will actually be getting rid of strength on for alligator later, but I did need it for to get through the uh, the gym. I guess in theory I could have um, taught it to Shuckle before the gym. And that's something I might look into in the future, but the strength, having strength as a damaging move is really nice to have. Uh, yeah, boy. All of mine, that's right. But that's something I might look into uh, doing later on, is uh, if I was to rewrote this. But having strength is just really good. It's 80 base power. The alternative would be keeping Ice Fang or something, but Ice Fang is weaker and it can miss, so I'd have to... I'd have to look into that a little bit closer. Alright, so, good news is... Because I've already fought this spinner... This is an easy gold split. Yeah! So fast. <laughs> Alright, so now we've given the secret potion to Ampharos. And now it's time to fight Jasmine. So, you remember way back in the Lake of Rage, I put on the choice specs. So, choice specs are an item that boosts the move that you choose. You can only use one move in battle. You have to use that move for the whole fight, unless you switch out. Or the battle ends. And, but it boosts that move by 50%. So with this, with these choice specs equipped, everything on Jasmine goes down in one shot. So one thing I should, I don't think I probably should have done for extra safety is just equip the specs before Jasmine, because I didn't really need them uh, before her anyway. 
And then I could have maybe done something a bit different on that optional that I hit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> True. Rather than Ice Fang a Poliwhirl. So you could actually do this fight in Torrent and without the specs, but getting Torrent set up is really difficult because um, the, uh, the Chuck fight, he's not... He's, he can do a lot of damage, but it's very inconsistent. As we saw, the Poliwhirl just went for Hypnosis. Sometimes it uses Mind Reader. Um, sometimes it uses Double Team. I forgot to mention that. That's really bad. Uh, so it's really just unlikely to get a to good Torrent setup there. And so... Um, Having the specs is just really nice to have for Jasmine. Okay. Oh yeah, I just Jasmine's realized this gym kind of is this kind gym kind of just is Roxanne's gym, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Back to Mahogany Town, and Lance has been waiting here a long time with his Dragonite, intimidating these guys. Very so. impatient. He's a patient guy. So, uh, now we get to do the first of two uh, rocket gauntlets. Everyone's favorite part. <laughs> The res resident sleeper part of the run. There are going to be some interesting fights and interesting setups later on, so uh, don't disappear. <laughs> but if you want to go get up and stretch and go for a drink uh, for the next few minutes, that would be totally reasonable. Or you can just hang out with us. That works too. Actually, I haven't had the stream open, so I got haven't been able to hear the. The music, but the music in this game, the music in this game is very good, I would say. It is, yes. If you're a fan of Kanto music, uh, they, uh, the mixes for Kanto gym uh, themes is very good, or battle themes are very good as well. Uh, that's something, I don't know if you've, you had to, you saw that head bump, because you didn't run the newest version. Right. But uh, they did up, they did update the music for uh, Kanto. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's good. great. I have to turn that on. But yeah, when we first came across this game, um, it was kind of in its beta stages, and Kanto kind of had just been released. And at the time, the levels of all the Pokemon were very, very much lower, and it was a lot easier to route than it is now. So props to Iron for kind of <laughs> putting up with it and. <laughs> Getting through it all. Yeah, so the I think the Jota the can the Kanto um, level spreads were pretty much the same as the original Gold Silver Crystal originally, and then they upgraded it to Heart Gold Soul Silver levels. So that's uh, that's what happened. Yeah. Uh, Smajet, yes, this has physical special split. So Crunch is a physical attack. And it's also neutral against Steel types. Yes, that is true. That would be very good because I uh, would need to surf these things otherwise. And surf PP, maybe not for the mahogany section of the run, but definitely for the radio tower section, surf PP is very, very tight. Oh. Gonna pick up a guard spec here. That's the second uh, X item, or cross item, as some people like to say, uh, that I'll be picking up. I'm also going to pick up a nugget here. The new addition that I added. Uh, if you recall earlier, I uh, mentioned that vitamins are, you have 64 EVs per use, and so uh, I want to get more of them. So uh, I'll be buying one later. That's why I grabbed the nugget. Was this announced as part of the release? That it would be upgraded it was, like yes. that? Wow. Can't believe he did that voluntarily. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Because, yeah, that's not even a thing that was in, like, later gen games at all. Yeah. So, uh, I'm not going to complain. That's a pretty nice addition. Makes the, uh, makes the run a little more interesting. So we're going to go grab some passwords here. But yeah, if we didn't have the physical special split in this hack, I don't think Gator would be runnable. It would definitely be slower than Rallygator. Or Cyclosion, rather. Yeah, yeah. Oh, one thing that has already passed and I forgot to mention. Um, another reason why Typhlosion um, kind of struggles a little bit more time-wise is because while its best move, Flamethrower, is accessible very early in the game, it's like a two to three minute detour because you gotta go get strength and then come back to Burnt Tower and move a boulder. So you get the same power as for Alligator and Surf versus Flamethrower, um, but at the cost of a lot more time to go get it. So it was, yeah, it's weighing the pros and cons of each route. There's, Definitely upsides and downsides to both. Yep. Uh, crunch this. So we're gonna be seeing a lot of A used crunch <laughs> for the next uh, little while. Crunch is just a solid move. Yeah. High power, really low nice PP. Yeah. Great tough coverage. There's a spinner here. I'm going to be kind of careful with this. I feel like I definitely opened faster than the bag. <laughs> huh? The Pokemon menu there? You, you open with the Pokemon menu. Maybe, I feel like yeah. It... Never noticed that before. I'll, I'll look into that. It might actually be a thing that we might want to prefer over opening the bag. TM case would obviously be faster, but we have the bike equipped, so you can't yeah. equip multiple items. And even if you did, I don't think you would want to mess around with another menu. Right. It would probably just be better just to do the Pokemon bag manip. No, I, def I definitely agree. Alright, so this fight we have to use Surf. Um, this guy has a coughing which has pretty high physical defense. So you can't really use physical moves on it. And then, um, so yeah, so you're pretty much forced to use Surf. And you also have to have the specs for this fight, because I believe the Raticate is a damage range without the specs. The uh, the boss battles in this game, I believe they have higher IVs than uh, the Grunts do. In some cases. I'm not sure if this one in particular does. Is this findable? Let me look. Yes, 17 IV. Pretty high. Yeah. Let's get the password from Murkrow. For some reason, this guy's a little more annoying to pass from the left. <laughs> Not quite sure why. I'm gonna go grab this full heal here, because I have none left, and, uh, and then we're going to go down, dodge that trainer, and then go up and fight Ariana. Does this hack have any notable additions besides later gen features? Just me. It is fairly accurate to the original, but it does add a few tasteful quality of life improvements. Yeah. Uh, from gen 4, um, and then later, later gen stuff as well. Um, so, for example, you can access um, regional variants in Fuchsia City, which is very late in the run. So if you have the, like, regular Cantonian or Johto version of um, a Pokemon, you can trade it for the Alolan, the Galarian, or the Hisuian, and perhaps also the, um, I can't remember, but the new Scarlet Violet region. Yeah, Paldean, yeah. Paldean, yeah. yeah. That will probably be added as well, just for a little bit of flavor. 
So this fight, you have to, um, this fight, Specs is kind of needed. You have a Pokemon that has Intimidate, and also a Gloom. So the best strategy here is to have the Specs on, set up an X Special, and then uh, Surf everything, including the Gloom. The Arbok will always use Glare turn 1, and in this hack, Glare is 100% accurate, so you're always using a Paralyze Heal there. Ugh, who decided that? Yeah, another move that's 100% accurate is, I believe, Thunder Wave. Although, I think that's a thing in later gens, but... Ooh, I'm 37 here. This is very, very interesting, because up next are the Electrodes, and I think only once I've outsped the, one of them. But I'm higher level now. With some extra speed EVs on top of that, so. Buffed Glare to 100 when they nerfed Thunderwave to 90. Okay, so yeah, I think I'm thinking of a different move then that also got. Accuracy also got buffed to 100. Yeah, it seems like it got buffed in Gen 6, so that is a later gen thing. Um. But yeah, the uh, these Electros have a, a love of exploding, so we might see that. <laughs> at some point here. Recently, I've been getting a rollout, which does like two damage. So. Yeah. <laughs> These are not really all that dangerous. Even if you get self destruct, it doesn't do all that much. Yeah. So, yeah, so as the headbot mentioned, they can blow up. As we can see there, they have Swift. They also have um, Spark, which can paralyze. That's the, probably the worst move. And also rollout, which does like no damage. If you are entering this fight with really low health, it is optimal to kind of get a... Um, to try to take, take some damage to get Torrent uh, set up for uh, the next fight. So the next fight we're going to need to have the specs on, but we can take the specs off, because we're going to have to take the specs off anyway for price. So taking the specs off early is, is something you can do as well. Surfing a Dugong did not sound all that fun. <laughs> okay, we saw self-destruct there, but it did like 10 It's 17, what the heck? So in this, in later gens, self-destruct um, doesn't have the mechanic where it halves the defense of the Pokemon it's being used on. So as a result, it does like no damage to Feraligator. In particular, because Feraligator has 100 base defense. Yep is pretty, pretty high. Oh. Okay, everybody's favorite gym. Unfortunately, there's no spinner here now. We have to fight Douglas. So we don't have to, we don't have to deal with the, uh, the RNG of that. I believe this was a thing in Gen 4 as well, if I'm not mistaken. This fight, you kind of want to have the specs on as well, um, because the Cloister doesn't die to Surf otherwise. It definitely doesn't die to Surf. <laughs> yeah, and then it's phys it's so bulky physically, so <laughs> you wouldn't be able to use anything else on it. Um, there was one run I did, I actually got poisoned by the Arbok. The Arbok has Poison Tail on Ariana, and I actually ended up trying to take poison all the way to this fight, and I was just short by like one. Mm -hmm. So I so I thought about taking the specs off, healing the poison in one menu, and that would have been uh neat strat. I'm actually gonna heal before before price. Just to play it a little bit safe. And then I also because I have to do this menu anyway, I might as well just heal. The specs off. Uh, out of battle, poison damage is still in, uh, but you can't die out of battle. So I was trying to take poison ticks all the way up to Douglas and couldn't make it to get torrent. Okay, so this fight, I technically just need to go to plus one attack, but this seal likes to use icy wind, and I really do not want to be slower. I also got hail, which is annoying. I forgot to say, uh, game, my name is, is 
since Iron 3, because in Fire and <laughs> Leaf Green races, I am notorious for not getting hail on Lorelei. This is a very slow fight now. Uh, one also potentially scary situation that happens now is, I'm straightening you, right? Yes. Is that the, well, there's two potentially scary things that are ha gonna happen. One, I'm gonna be 30 for this Dugong. I might knock it into heal range with Headbutt. Because normally I'm 37. The second thing is, is the Pilot Swine, I believe, has Snow Cloak, which means it has a chance to dodge the Surf that I'm about to throw its way. Hopefully it's gone by the time you get there. It actually is, yes. It will be. You're right. If you get Hail Turn 1, you actually... Uh... Okay, this is fine. I think it's going to be gone. Good point. Because I remember like, I was doing a run and I was panicking. I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm going to get... Have Hail on Pilot Swine. But uh, it, didn't, uh, it died off, so that's perfect. So, slow, but uh, easy fight. And uh, that that power swine deals a lot of damage. Power swine has pretty good attack, I think. So it's uh, not something you want to deal with. Okay, so time for us to go to the radio tower and stop Team Rocket. First, I'm going to do a quick menu. I'm going to use an ether on Surf. Re-equip the specs. I'm going to have the specs on for a little while more. And then I'm going to fly to Golden Rock. Welcome back to the Radio Tower. Yep. Welcome back to Team Rocket Music. So the first few fights are pretty standard, uh, just one-shotting everything. Um, but there is going to be a rival fight coming up. In which... I am going to be setting up Torrent. And that is a very interesting setup, so... Assuming it goes well. Um, there's a slight chance that I could get trolled, but... Pretty unlikely. I'm also going to be... Because I candied early, my levels might be a bit weird for the rival. But it probably isn't going to be too much of an issue. So I think I'm normally entering the rival fight at 40... 40 or 41. But I'll be... Um... Actually, it should be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. I'll level up before the like the fight on the fight, um, the exact fight with the, all the coughings. Okay, this fight's free, and then the next fight there's going to be a damage range on the uh, on the buck. Although, am I... F I think I normally level up. Hmm. I'm not sure if I'm normally 39 for this fight or not. Whoops. Just do this. Just get the range. Yeah, easy. If it is... Um, what's my special attack IV? 30, right? 29. 29. Yes, yeah, so this will be a 14 and 16 range. Assuming everything is the same. So if I had if I had not he super potion before price, I would be I would have torrent here and it would be guaranteed. But that's okay. Yeah, I think I'm normally level 39 here still. And got it. Okay. Tough. Correct. 
push this. Yeah, so I'm, we're gonna kind of set up torrent on uh, on the rival fight, and so what that's gonna do is it's gonna make a lot of the fights um, in the rest of the radio tower, as well as some of the fights um, going into Claire's gym, um, significantly easier because torrent plus specs is a pretty good combination with surf. But the the big problem with trying to set up Torrent is you want to make sure that you have enough power points uh, to actually get through all these fights. And so I do have to take a... P I'm going to take a PC heal later to restore uh, a lot of my power points. And that's going to heal me to full. So I have to actually do a full s a setup for Torrent from full HP on the rival. So that'll be really interesting uh, to, to see. And there are actually two options to that fight as well. I'm kind of getting a little bit ahead of things because there's really not a whole lot to talk about here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm enough. just kind of just blowing through these scrubs here. At least the inside of battles in this game is significantly faster than that of Gen 2 games. So it's a bit more bearable. Yeah, even Heart Gold Soul Silver, I think, is a little bit slower as well. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, I'm confirming in chat. It is indeed slower. Also, just want to like shout out Lime. Lime will be running uh, a glitched version of Heart Gold Soul Silver uh, tomorrow in the marathon. So, looking forward to seeing that. That is a really good run. Really exciting, interesting strats. So, make sure you. Check that out. I just love seeing the Manipulus route. It's just so cool to me. Yeah. yeah. He's racing Tucker, so that'll be uh, that'll be a really good uh, good showing. <laughs> Rat versus the lemon. Pretend it's green, yeah. I was actually, for, for some reason, I was looking for a lime. Not even, not related to, to you, lime. I was looking for a lime emote, and I couldn't find one for something else. I don't remember what it is, what I was looking for it, but. I was very sad I couldn't find a lime. It's closer. Like they have every other. They have every other fruit. They have like, <laughs> Cat Bob posting a pear. <laughs> a bit closer. <laughs> okay. The uh, this should be fine. I'm gonna be. I normally I finish this fight at 41, but I'll be finished. I'll be uh, going to the wheezing at 41 because I hit a couple optionals. And I also can't eat early as well, so it's totally fine. I'm not going to level up before the uh, Meganium, and it's not actually going to be a factor anyway when I get there, because my uh, special defense is pretty decent. Okay, I have to be careful I don't dodge these optionals. Ah! <laughs> Better than <laughs> optional, I guess. Agreed, agreed. Sometimes I lose track of uh, where I am, and I sometimes just... Okay, so we're gonna do a PC heal. I'm also gonna get rid of Abra. Thanks for your service, friend. Very nice. But I need all of my other HM friends as later on as well, so I'll keep all of them in my party. And then we're gonna go off to the underground. On top of everything, actually go from the bottom, so this works out perfectly. Yeah. On top of everything that Iron currently has in his party, Cyndaquil also needs an Intimidator, 
for the red fight. So it, not only do you have to, oh, yeah. not only do you have to go and catch that, you also have to keep the space for it. So just another difference. Yeah. Uh, there is actually a Hall of Fame sequence after red, unlike the uh, vanilla games. So having less Pokemon there is also faster. Yeah. All right, rival fight. Uh, so this fight, if you have really, really low special defense, like as in naughty nature with low IV, you can't do the strat. Um, but my, I have a lonely nature, so I'm totally fine. I got a miss. That is very interesting. All right, we're gonna do this. Pokeball, go. So normally you're worried about this Golbat critting. Instead, I got the five percent miss. And then I got the crit. How much does I'm gonna check really quickly how much this does. Uh do 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 what's my defense? Or special defense? Nine neutral Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, that was lucky. So this is this is a situation where um I will be setting up another X special on the Meganium. The Meganium will use pedal dance. And I have just enough special I have just enough special defense that I can tank a pedal dance here, um, even after a Golbat crit. 92 max? Unfortunately, the one major flaw with this plan is now this Sneasel can kill me potentially, and I think it can. Yeah, even with the level up here, I normally don't level up in this fight, but I will die to Sneasel's faint attack. So I do have to use a Super Potion. Uh, Aqua Tail would be an amazing move if it wasn't so inaccurate. Yeah, we're gonna get Waterfall pretty shortly anyway, so it's not gonna be that yeah, bad of an issue. Exactly. Right, so, Super Potion. So, I wanna keep Torrent, so this Sneasel's gonna faint attack me twice. It's not gonna be able to kill me with two of them. And then I get Torrent here, and that's perfect. A little bit slow. I think if I didn't get crit by the Golbat, I would have been uh, would have not needed to use the Super Potion. So that fight lost me a tiny bit of time. Not a big deal, though. Are you ever in a spot where you don't actually take enough damage that you don't get Torrent off Pedal Dance? Um, there is a there is a there is a potential situation for that. Yes, if you have uh, thirty plus neutral special defense and you have like twenty six plus HP IV you have a slim chance of not getting Torrent full. That would, it would stink. Which would be really bad. Um, specifically, if you have 30 special defense on a Lonely Nature and 31 HP IV, it's... And then you just don't kill Meganium. Uh, this Rattata has Sucker Punch. Shoutouts to this Abra because I forgot on a run once and it killed me with Sucker Punch. I had no revives. And um, our good friend Shuckle ended up killing the Rattata with Rock Smash. It took a very <laughs> long time because Shuckle has horrendous attack. Ah, uh, it's so good. That was quite the meme. Because <laughs> Shuckle is pretty much the only thing that could KO that Rattata has insanely good defense. So Hyper Fang was doing like 10 damage to Shuckle. Or less. So now we have Torrent. Um, this HP I think should be fine for a setup I'm going to do a little bit later. Um, but I'll probably save for that fight, because uh, if I get crit, it could be a problem. But I'll check if the damage rolls and play accordingly. I think I'll just end up saving regardless, because I want to play it safe for Marathon. So yeah, that was a situation where Shuckle was used in a fight where I was not expecting it to. <laughs> it has a use later on, but... Uh, that one you plan for. Reaction. <laughs> Just want to check. What's my nine new nine neutral special effects? The 
pick up this Max Ether. That's going to be a useful item later. I'm just going to quickly check here how much... Yeah, I'll be fine. I think I'm actually fine for crit as well. So there's a fight coming up where I'm going to take max 19. And because crits do 1.5 times damage, and I'm probably going to be a higher level for that fight, I'm. it seems very unlikely that I'll die to crit. But uh, stranger things have happened, so I'm still going to save. <laughs> One more fight here. So I'm glad we got a little bit of interesting, uh, and it's some interesting action on the rival fight. This uh, this section is notorious for being a grind. So glad we got to see that at least. Uh, I forgot to mention also, if you don't, if you have really bad special defense, like if you have like a naughty nature with low HP and low special defense, you can win that fight. But the difference is you have to set up to plus four. So you have to actually buy two more X specials, go to plus four um, on the goal bat, um, and then just win the fight without torrent. And um, that's kind of awkward because you kind of want to have torrent for the next few fights that I'm going to be doing. And uh, the fight that becomes a little bit more awkward because of that. As if you just also got missed air cutter in that situation. He's <laughs> yeah, so lucky. Yeah. Also, shoutouts to the boulder being added there. And in earlier versions of this ROM hack, they uh, You did not have those boulders there, so you actually had to fight another, an optional trainer to get back out of the uh, yep. ground. See, I bought a calcium. That is going to be useful for EVs later. I'm actually going to sell that nugget, which I bought earlier. Now, what's my speed? My speed is 25, so 7 speeds. Actually, I'm going to buy an 8th one, just to be safe. Because I was doing a few practice runs and I was actually low on X uh, speeds, even though I shopped correctly according to my notes. So I think I had to change something a little different there. And then I'm buying two escape ropes from you. And I'm going to buy seven of you. Alright, so now we've got most of our shopping for the run done. We'll be doing a little bit more shopping later, but that's the biggest by far of the shopping trips. little bit of the radio tower here. Get to take down these two guys with Crunch. Now we have two, uh, three executive fights. We're going to fight Proton, Ariana, and then Archer. Back to back. Thankfully, I can menu between them. <laughs> also, interesting little uh, little bug there is when you notice there when uh, Proton came up to me, my NPC, my character, looked to the left rather than, to, rather than at Archer or Proton. Kind of interesting. I'm going to save after this fight. My HP looks really solid, but I'm going to just play it super, super safe. Okay, so coming up is Ariana, and she's the girl that I fought right before the Electrodes in the uh, Mahogany hideout. 
And it's pretty much the same kind of setup for her. Uh, she leads an Arbok, and she also has a, a Vile Plume this time. So I need to have Torrent for this fight. Uh, she has... She'll either status move me turn one, and then I'll have to heal it off, or she'll go for Venoshock. Uh, with my defense, or special defense, rather, Venoshock cannot kill, even with a critical. Or it shouldn't be able to. There are some weird max rolls in the damage calculate, so I'm gonna- I just save just in case one of those applies here. So X special here. I got 100% accurate glare, awesome. So I'll just heal that off. Use those paralyzed heals. And menu scrolling is really slow in battle. Then a shock, okay, and then I surf. Okay, so that's, uh, that's a win. The alternative to that fight would be to like two shot the Vile Plume with something. Unfortunately, I don't have Ice Fang anymore, so I don't really have a good move to deal with the Vile Plume anyway. Uh, yeah. And then uh, it's just it's just a really slow fight otherwise. Oh, that's a Having new sprite. Is nice. Yep, they did change a few of the sprites. Merc Rose is different as well. I think Hound Dooms is also different. We're gonna see Hound Doom right here. You'll be able to tell me if it's changed or not. I think it has. And then this fight's free, it's just Surf times 3. Super nice, super easy fight. How and I have just hand. enough Surfs to beat this guy. Lovely. I think this guy's an issue for Typhoon, pretty sure. Yeah, it's definitely different. Yeah, I think, yeah. I think he would be with the fire typing. Alright, that's the Rockets done. Now we're gonna have a little bit more interesting gaming. Hopefully. So I think I remember reading in your notes, Headbob, that you have to do the quiz for the radio card. Is that actually needed? Because my notes, I just copied that over, but I'm not sure if that's actually needed or not. Uh, I have no idea. Okay, well we're gonna Is do it anyway. It's kind of nice what it was. Because the Pokemon it, you get... Because it's for the uh, the radio extension, right? Or the radio card so that you can upgrade it to get the Poke Flute. Oh, but you get the Poke Flute oh. like, as a separate item. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, maybe, maybe yeah, it's gonna, not then. We all like quizzes here, so we're going to do the quiz. Yeah. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. And... No. Let's just do the lucky number show too. Okay, we did get it. No Where's master it? ball. That was actually pretty fast, so didn't lose too much time doing it. All right, time to get serious again. Trainers. There's a nice little hidden elixir here, right above another item which is not as useful for the speedrun. And Ice Cave. Use the calcium. And Max Ether on Surf.
Okay, I just wanted to listen to that music because it's really good, and not talk. Um, <laughs> so I picked up a few items. I picked up a few items in there. I picked up waterfall. Not only is it a good field move, it's an insanely good physical water attack. So we'll be t definitely teaching that to for alligator. Uh, I picked up a uh, carbos, which is going to be useful to avoid some um, using X speeds later and being faster than things. And I'm also I also um, grabbed ice beam which is a uh, pretty decent uh, special attack and uh, kind of replaces Ice Fang in a way. Yeah, there's definitely. Also multi sorry, yeah, sorry, there's also never a multi in there, but we don't, I don't grab that anymore because of the fact that uh, vitamins are so good. Just, you just don't need it anymore. I, sorry, head Bob, go ahead. Yeah, it's like, yeah, obviously, like we've said probably a million times by now, for Alligator, has a decently amount more attack than special attack, but with a twist specs, Ice Beam um, does pretty well and also has 25 more base power, so it's pretty good for cleaning up things. Ice is a really good offensive yep. type, so. This trainer is quite annoying because um, you need Torrent and specs to guarantee the Cedra. With my special attack, it's a 15 and 16 range without Torrent. But uh, it's nice to have Torrent there. That's the last place Torrent is. Good. So I'm going to do a quick menu here. I'm going to teach. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Whirlpool. Teach Waterfall. Over. Strength. And teach Ice Beam now, because we're in the Dragon Gym. Overhead butt. And then I'm also going to... Oh, I didn't check my, my stats. I'm going to heal a specific amount here. Uh, what's my special defense? 9 neutral. So I want to heal to 106 HP. Um, this should be fine. Two supers. I want to get torn off of Claire as well. Uh, why did I talk to this guy? I don't know what this guy has. <laughs> Nothing particularly bad. Um, I should please have another horsey. What I'm banking on here. Okay, well, it's a bit two shot. Oh, no, the crit. Yeah, this is not. This is fine. Well, I got poison, so I have to heal, but <laughs> otherwise, fine. This guy's one Pokemon, so I'm just gonna heal after this uh, this trainer. Luckily, there's no uh, status lag or anything like that, like there is in uh, the Switch games. Horsey gives what? What does Horsey give? Defense EVs? I guess a special attack, but I will check. Yeah, special attack. I know. Okay. That's... That's fine, I guess. I talked, about, I talked earlier about how... Um, 
the vitamins are so buffed that I'm actually going to max out my EVs by using vitamins. Uh, that's going to be coming up very shortly. Um, I strategically use them in a specific order so that I get the most out of the one that means that matters more. The speed, uh, because, uh, So the speed actually is the second one, uh, the last one I'll use. So I don't mm -hmm. actually get all the EVs, all 64 EVs from, from the Carbos. I only get like 40 something. But because, um, because I fought all these extra optionals now, I'm going to be getting less speed EVs. Uh, so, in this game, vitamins, instead of getting 10 effort values, they give 64. Nice game. Do not want to water through this. So 64 EVs is roughly 16 IVs worth of... Uh, increased your special attack. So if I had a 15 IV um, uh, on attack, for example, and I use a protein, using one protein gives makes my IV pretty much perfect, or my, my attack pretty much perfect. It is indeed crazy. 64 EV is just unbelievable. Ooh, I level up here. That's uh, interesting. We're gonna learn, try to learn Thrash. Not a good move, at least in this game. Okay, so the strap for Kingdra is I'm gonna set up on the Kingdra. The the Dragonairs have um, Thunder Wave. Not an ideal thing to set up on, but I can get Torrent off this Kingdra if it plays nicely. So I X Special once into Ice Beam. Ice Beam will knock it to red. It does have a Citrus Berry, and now I'm a, now I have Torrent. Well, I lost a minute on that split, but that's okay. <laughs> the creator of the hack yeah, eats the EV grind. Well, I don't know about that. I wanted something a bit different. That's what I like to think. Definitely a really, really interesting addition, and, and I'm a big fan of it. As a speedrunner. <laughs> All right, so ambush trainer here. This guy's easy, of course. Ice beam. Yeah, and the really crazy thing with the vitamins is they sell for the same amount of money, which is absolutely nuts. So it's kind of like we saw yesterday, I think, in the BDSP run, uh, talking about how the X items are buffed in later gens, boosting two stages instead of one, and at the same price in BDSP. So it's kind of a similar situation to that. Yeah. There's our last vitamin, which is the calcium. You have two calciums now. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. That's fine. Wait, what? Oh, no. Okay. Uh, I'm going to cancel my repel at some point and then just reapply it. I just totally got lost. <laughs> Uh, That'll happen. So Whirlpool is Whirlpool is used specifically for that Whirlpool and that Whirlpool alone. Yeah, so the, for those kind of HMs, it is very nice that you can just teach over HMs without having to, you know, organize organize your move sets around that. You can kind of just not have to worry about it all that much. Uh, that quiz is really awkward. When you answer the question, you have to clear the text box again. So if you if you click A too much, if you're like mashing A or whatever, you can just answer it incorrectly and it wastes time. Um, so I kind of take my time a little bit there. Uh, if I did not have a Sentret, I would probably have caught either a Rattata or a Bellsprout if I really wanted to play Risky and catch a Bellsprout before Violet. Um, you would have to teach Whirlpool 2 for Alligator just to clear that Waterfall, and then you teach Whirl Waterfall over Whirlpool. Because you don't use Waterfall until uh, after Claire anyway. Uh, you can teach over HMs, but you can... They're not... They're not... They are reusable still, so you can't really get soft locked. Yeah, you can reteach it as well. Okay. 
this is a very important menu. I'm going to teach... Actually, I'm not going to do that because I already taught it. I'm going to be using the vitamins now. So I want to use the calcium first. So now in total I have about 480-something uh, EVs. And now with the carbose, I top everything off. And then I escape for a bit. So now I have max EVs. That almost never happens in a Pokemon speedrun, max EVs. It's like so rare. I, I guess it happens in um, in Sword and Shield, potentially, if you're buying vitamins in Winden. I think I, I just ran Sword and Shield. I don't think it even then. I don't think you max out. Oh, okay. I, cause I, know, I know you buy a ton in the Candy Floss route. Yeah. But it may not be max. You can afford up to, like, 16 generally. Usually that's not max. But yeah, some interesting commentary in the chat about especially soft locking because of the HM thing, but that would be very interesting to think about. Okay, one spinner here. I'm just gonna do a bag minute. Ah, uh, poker is yeah, makes sense. Oh, thanks, perhaps, for that interesting tidbit. I'm going to cancel the repel for now and use it up here, because this is where I normally use it. This is actually a good idea. It's going to take, an take a little bit extra time just to make sure I don't run out of repels. I have I bought a very specific amount in order to get through the entire game, and I do not want to buy, buy, buy extras. Okay, so this fight, um, having Torrent is nice as well here, because the Seeking, um, this guy has three Pokemon, uh, two cool fish, which are easy, and then the Seeking uh, only goes down to Torrent Surf. Also, this is not the first time we'll see Quillfish. We'll see Quillfish one more time in Kanto, and it's a very special Quillfish. That's all I'm going to say about that, but get excited for, for that coming up later. Seems like a new addition? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to... What I'm going to do is I'm going to skip the bed heal here. This is an option you can do if you have decent stats. And I'll just take the heal in... Uh, at the Victory Road, or Elite Four, rather. So with the with Specs and Torrent, um, these three fights you can save two to up to two turns. And I might actually level up a little bit earlier, so this might actually improve the range. I don't remember what level I am exactly for the, uh, specifically the last of the five folks that I'm going to fight. Protect is annoying, but not a huge deal. So normally you, what you do is if you don't have the specs, or if you, if you did take the bed heal and you don't have torrent, you would take off the specs. You would Ice Beam the Victory Bell, and you would Crunch the Kingler twice, and then you would Surf Flareon, of course, as well. Or Waterfall, and I guess you could do that too. Uh, that said, that, that fight is, becomes a turn slower. Then for this fight, you would Ice Beam this Parasect. Instead, I'm going to use Torrent Surf. And then you would Crunch the second Pokemon twice. Wow, so it really helps so, a lot here. But the second Pokemon here is a damage range, and um, it if it crits, it might kill me if I miss the range. So this Golduck is a... It could, got it, it's a 14 and 16 range. That saved a little bit. I'm going to have to take a... Oh, I'm going to not hit this trainer. <laughs> 
So yeah, actually going in the bag for the bag minute is definitely slower. Got, I've done a couple of them in the last few minutes and definitely noticed it. Alright, Victory Road. So, no trainers here. We're going to pick up a lot of very important items, though. Uh... Firstly, a max revive. Absolutely essential to pick that up, by the way. Uh, this one's here. As you may notice, this, this is once again identical to the Heart Gold Soul Silver section. <laughs> like most things in this game. <laughs> I'm gonna pick up this PP up. It's not required, but because I skipped the bed heal and I have um, doing a specific set of strats, um, uh, we'll need that for later. And I'm gonna take the. Careful not to go down here. Okay, so this is an example I actually did get on the bike. I picked up Earthquake a little bit uh, before, because there'd be a little bit of lag in that particular situation. Oops. Okay, so I'm gonna do menu. Hyper Potion. Don't really need to get the full, but just gonna play it a bit safe. And then I'm also gonna use this PB up on Ice Beam. Yeah, in, in Heart Gold Soul Silver, you get the specs of the Lake of Rage, so it's actually pretty early. Um, Interestingly, for this hack, if you could get the choice banned, which is the physical equivalent, if you could get that as early as the specs, this Rallygator would be even more busted. Yeah. Wouldn't really even be close anymore. <laughs> yeah. So guard specking turn one because Icy Wind is a thing. And I'm going to X Special, which is here. Yeah, it's, it's weird that you can't access the Scarf or the Band as early, for sure. One thing I suggested uh, that they add to the ROM hack... One of the developers is in our Discord, and uh, I suggested to them that they should you should make a choice between the three. The, the choice would... of the choice items? Genius. Yes. It's perfect! Exactly. It's, it's like a, it's just perfect because of the, <laughs> the name of the items, but th that would be interesting because you wouldn't have the specs, and having specs surf is actually a really good thing to have for on for alligator. Mm -hmm. So you have to do some interesting little ro bits of roading to kind of work around that. Nice roading exercise for sure. Yeah, you pretty much only need the X-Special to get through the Meganium. I believe also the Sneasel, but the Mag and maybe also the Magneton. The last three Mons don't need setup. You can just Waterfall at plus zero. Alright, that's the last fight against the Rival. I'm just looking at your moveset right now. The amount of coverage that this thing has versus... Typhlosion is just crazy to compare. <laughs> Typhlosion's literally just got fire and normal at this point. <laughs> that's uh, that's definitely a huge, huge effect. Typhlosion does have a really good special attack, and you can yeah. generally get through a lot of things with specs and uh, blaze. 
All right, into the Elite Four. Interestingly, I because of all the optionals I hit, I was able to buy a seventh full restore. I normally can only buy six. Uh, yes, Typhlosion gets Earthquake, like for Alligator does. Uh, it kind of has to for some of the Kanto fights. Um, and there was, I think it was part of my route that uh, Hidden Power was sometimes a thing, depending on... Um, That's very cool. ...what your IVs would be. But it really doesn't help. Well, Hidden Power is not that great of a move, to be honest. So you don't want to have to rely on that. It was just a lot more finicky than Iron's Route is right now. Someone could definitely get a good time with it, but... And yeah, someone pointing out the uh, the Gyarados, the level 50. Unfortunately, it's not. That slot is not at the Lake of Rage. If it was, that would be very interesting to look into. Intimidate is kind of slow, though, so... That would be a thing to keep in mind. It's a lot slower in this game than it is in Gen 4, to be sure. Okay, so Will. Will is probably the easiest, most straightforward member of the Elite Four, with the exception of maybe Lance. Um, set up 2x attacks, and then uh, Waterfall everything except for the uh, the two bulky bonds, which are uh, Executor and Slowbro. Thanks for good luck, Maddox. Lance, Lance, another brutal fight for Table Legend. Brutal, brutal. Okay, so Koga is a very bad fight. Um, I'm going to actually heal the full for this fight. Uh, Hyper Potions are here. If you have Torrent entering this fight, you can um, you, you don't heal going in, and that allows you to get through Koga's first Pokemon without setting up. And uh, we might see why that is an issue. That is an important thing to have. But because I didn't have Torrent, I uh, just healed the full, because I'm going to have to heal no matter what. And I saved, because this fight uh, can be very interesting. The first up, he has an Ariados. This Ariados has a really great move called Double Team. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. We want to see Spiderweb or Sticky Web, and we got it. Okay. Good job, Koga. Koga was a pal there. It also has Giga Drain, but I think it would only use it if it can kill you. Um, I think the AI it, it has good AI, so... Koga's strat is generally just a troll. <laughs> um, but his fortress has really weird IV, weird um, AI as well. So this fortress has Sturdy, and it's kind of like the later gen Sturdy, where it stops you from KOing with any move, right? not just one-hit KO moves. So I, I'm going to have to take, hit him with Crunch to start. I need to X speed to get through the Crobat, which has double team. I also need to set up 1 to 2x attacks. If I get, were to get Torrent, I'd only need 1. But because I'm not in Torrent, I'm going to set up the second one. It also has Explosion, so that's not good. Um, okay. How much does Gunk Shot do? Gunk Shot is physical, right? Yes. 30... I am dead to a max roll of Gunk Shot. How many? <laughs> if it poisons me, I'm dead. You can also miss. That too, that too. Oh, it also has minimize. <laughs> so it must have, yeah. So I think, the, I think the strat would have been just to go X attack there. All right, just need to hit through. This is, um, if anyone's familiar with Fired Leaf Green, this is pretty much Agatha. Agatha. Oh, yeah. it's worse actually because it's harshly. It's it's time two no! for minimize. Now he's maxed. Okay, we're gonna try to we're gonna try to go through this, and then I'm gonna just. Okay, we got it. Good job. Easy. Luckily, waterfall PP is not that important, but. <laughs> uh, and then he has just one mod left, so I can just I can I can take the poison damage here. Uh, having torrent for the uh, for Bruno is nice as well if you have it, but uh, not a big deal if I don't.
So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to put on the antidote, of course, to start. I don't know if well, I don't have any antidotes left at the wheel. Um, I don't know if boy, the toxic effect carries over it between battles, but I'm not taking that chance. Choice specs, and then go. What's my special attack? 29? Okay, so the Machamp is guaranteed. I put on the specs here to save a couple X specials. And because I had to heal up the poison anyway, it's uh, probably faster to do this in general in the poison situation. So if I have Torrent here, I can actually not set up at all and just spam Surf, but I will be setting up an X special because I do not have Torrent. This thing normally just counters. It's pretty harmless. It has quick attack too, so. I believe it also has Dig, but I've never seen it use Dig. Dig does not do a lot of damage. It only does about 20 to 30 depending on your defense. And that no uh, mock punch from him on Chan, at least uh, you're never in a situation to see it, even if it has it. Okay, next up is Karen. I am going to be 52 for her lead, which is good, which means I think my special attack is good enough anyway, but her Umbreon could be a range. But I'm 52, so I'll be fine for that. Gator learning superpower. Pretty good move, at least base power-wise, but uh, not really good for uh, for the speedrun. Secondary effect is not is pretty anti-speedrun. <laughs> Second, yeah. Secondary effect is really bad. It's a good finishing move, I guess, but... So now I'm going to. My I'm just gonna use a. Uh, I'm just gonna use a super potion. Uh, not quite gonna be at full, but that's gonna be fine. And I'm also gonna save for this fight because I could. I do need to set up quite a bit, and things could go wrong if uh, she does weird stuff. Okay, so this fight has a Murkrow with Sucker Punch. If you are at plus three. Uh, special attack. It will prioritize Whirlwind, I believe, um, and it won't go for Sucker Punch. If I only set up to plus one or two, i.e. if I get Torrent, and I will be in position to get Sucker Punched if I get low enough HP. So Guard Spec because of Sand Attack. Uh, what's my speed? 25. Uh, I do have to X Speed because even with those extra speed EDs, I need to be at 27, 28 speed to be not speed yeah, tied with yeah. the Gengar. So this is a good play, and then I X special up to three times. It will Dark Pulse. Ideally, you get uh, Torrent set up after one or two of them. Uh, this is very interesting, because it confused right there. I think I have an extra guard spec. Um, and then I'm going to heal that off. Uh, what is my... What's my special X special count? Is it two or three? Oh, I didn't see. Uh, I used the wrong move. <laughs> Alright, we'll do that again and we'll, we'll keep track this time. I used Waterfall by accident. I was setting up X specials. But yeah, I was kind of wondering because I of the, of the Burkrow situation in that particular spot, so. Guard spec. Looks like we're getting the same fight. Speed. Special. Two. Okay, we're going to plus three. 
doing this again, okay. Ugh. That's really, like, really dumb. This Umbreon's so inconsistent. It's always the last turn, too. I believe I've wrote it an extra guard spec in. Um, specifically for blue. It's very unlikely that I'll need it there, so... Okay, so now I should win. <laughs> Did I take off the specs? We'll find out. Okay. Uh, I did not take off the specs. Okay, that's fine. I just need to serve everything, and everything will die. The Vile Plume was what I was most worried about. If I was not at plus three, it would not have died. There is a strat in my notes for specs here. I do want to have the specs off for Lance, though. There is a way to beat Lance with specs on, but it's just slower, so... Special Defense 9. Troll. And so the X speed is for the Gengar. The Gengar is not a fun thing to deal with if you're slower. I would speed tied with it, but play around that. So I'm just going to heal with the first potion that I see, which is just going to happen to be a Hyper Potion. Super Potion would have been enough, but... Since we're here, I took. A, I forgot to take off the specs again. Okay, we'll. Uh, I know what to do. It's all good. How many X specials do I have is the question. This Gyarados is, um, had Bob mentioned it's pretty bad for, for Typhlosion. It's actually really bad for, uh, it's not too bad for, uh, for Alligator. I have four. I don't believe I use any in Kanto. So I'm going to use all four of them. Yeah. This Gyarados has Waterfall and, and, and it does a lot. And then so. Ice Beam everything. Gyarados also has Hyper Beam, but it does like no damage because Gyarados has horrendous. Well, now I might now I'd be dead to Hyper Beam if I had to set up again, but now I'll just kill those. Um, yeah, Hyper Beam does nothing. Gyarados is bad special attack, and now I just spam Ice Beam. So we got to see some uh, <laughs> unplanned strats here. I did actually include this in the. Uh, in the road initially, but it's uh, a bit awkward. And I have to remember to take off the specs later, so. Now I'm gonna just double check if I need to X special again. And I do not. So we are good. So you just did this with plus three and it worked? Uh, plus four. Hmm, okay. Charizard's so normally I would go to Normally I would go to plus two and then two hit the Gyarados without specs. Yeah. But plus four with specs guarantees it. Uh, I use the X speed to outspeed the Aerodactyl. It has Rock Slide. You could probably get away with skipping the X speed and um, and tank a Rock Slide, but it can flinch you. So I just typically play it safe there. And then Ice Beam the Gear Dragonite. All right, that's Lance. This Elite Four has been absolutely catastrophic. <laughs> <laughs> so so many mistakes. All right. All right, the run is not over, guys. We have Kanto left. We have about an hour left in the run. So uh, Kanto is going to be very, very interesting. Uh, as, and if, as you probably know if you've watched Gen 2 or Gen 4 runs, it's pretty much a boss rush. Um, there are a few ad new additions. 
which makes things a little more interesting. And we're also doing it with Feraligator in a later gen game, so this uh, this will be a treat. And then, of course, the uh, the red fight is uh, is an absolute banger. Yeah. You don't want to miss that. Very long and arduous setup. <laughs> okay, so if you remember, Professor Alum called us right after getting the Rising Badge, which is Claire's Badge. That's to give us the Master Ball, so he's actually just going to give me the Master Ball now. And then I have to talk to him again to get the SS ticket. Um, you don't really need to talk to him to get to um, to go to Kanto, or to go to the Elite Four. So you save a bit of time there by not going to talk to Elm before going off to uh, Victory Road. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. Take off the specs, finally. And then fly it all on. It actually wouldn't really matter too much to keep the specs on for the next couple fights, but uh, just gonna make. I'm just gonna follow up my notes, say, just to be safe. Because <laughs> I don't want to do any more on the fly stuff. I think I've done enough of that. Well, the sailor seems like it would be kind of a kind of yeah, a mess. So the sailor, I waterfall his first two and then crunch his second one. Um, I think <laughs> I think waterfall would kill the Psyduck because Psyduck's low level and it's not a very strong Pokemon. But uh, I'm not about to try to find that out. <laughs> Uh, PP, PP isn't as, as super important here. I am going to be using an elixir later, so if I use an extra waterfall, I think it's fine. I need to be able to get max waterfall PP after using the ether, though, so I need to make sure. That I don't use less than, than 10. Level. Yeah. Is the, the PP routing is very, very specific to get through to the very, very end of the run. And if I don't have enough, I'd have to take a center or something, which is less than optimal. All right, that's our last use of Crunch. Served me quite well. Gonna be getting a new move in a second. Also, that was the last fight in the run with the Johto trainer music. We're gonna be hearing the uh, excellent Kanto music soon. Not saying the other music isn't excellent, but the Kanto music is particularly good. Also, it's new, so we get to hear it for a shorter amount of time. It wasn't in the previous versions. Yep. So we got the SS ticket, or we got to Vermilion City. So the first gym I'm going to do is actually the one you would think I wouldn't do first, and that's Surge. Um, Surge is actually exactly the same fight as it would be if you fought him later, because you have to use the next speed on this fight. Also, truly, thank you for the raid. Much appreciated. Welcome in, everybody. Thanks for the good luck, truly. Hope your stream went well. So this is the everybody's favorite part of Fire and Leaf Green. I'm going to be doing cans. And uh, I'm also going to teach Earthquake here. Pretty good move. This fight's actually pretty trivial for, for Alligator. It is. Just, just hit is the strat. <laughs> X speed and then just hit. Whoops. Surprisingly, Unlucky. yeah, definitely easier than Cyndaquils, I'm pretty sure. Okay, good. We got the can. I am actually going to... I'm actually not going to save again, because I'll just do the can again. Okay, so I think all but one of Surge's Pokémon outspeeds. Uh, even if you delay Surge, because of the level buff, because it's got Heart Gold Soul Silver levels, uh, Surge will always outspeed you no matter when you do him. 
or fight him. So I have to XP here, and this is why I do Surge now. Because it's just more of a hassle to come back later. The strat is XP. Hope he uses something like Thunderbolt. He did not, so now I just need to hit through a double team. And we did! Let's go! Let's go! Right, I'll just, I'll just uh, let everybody enjoy the battle music now. Yeah, I'm hearing it for the first time. It is really good. <laughs> Good assist is enough sturdy. No, thank thankfully. Not actually not a lot of enemy pokes have sturdy, to be honest. I think it's all I can think of right now is the fortress on, on Koga. Yep. Which is really good. <laughs> I'm we saw the BDSP run yesterday, a lot of the times uh T Bat had to like chip away a little bit or just or just force uh, Sturdy to proc. Yeah. We don't have to worry about that here. Yeah, it's mostly just the wilds that you'd see potentially Sturdy. You don't ever worry about Geodudes or anything like that, because... Bit of a pain. Alright, that's one badge down of eight Kanto badges. So we'll be hearing that music a lot more in a little bit. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab a free rare candy here. Even though I did, I am a bit over leveled, I think I still need this candy, so I'm going to grab it anyway. And my plan is to use the candies in the same spot as I normally would, just to make sure my HP setups are uh, all the same. Because the late game fights, if I level in the wrong spot, it could be problematic. Also, we gotta make sure that the final level 69. Very important. That too, of course, yes. <laughs> Okay, so initially I fought Sabrina next, but because the levels are a bit higher in the newest version of this ROM hack, um, Sabrina is actually a little bit harder to do, uh, to fight now, uh, because there's damage ranges, and then she has pretty fast Pokemon, and have, they have good moves for you. So we're going to do the, uh, plot, the very small Kanto plot section. All trainer skippable here, unlike all other Gen 2 games, Gen 2 slash Gen 4 games. There are a few mandatory trainers uh, here and there in Kanto, but... I guess it's all going to be made up for by the time we get to uh, the Blaine's gym. <laughs> So I have to come here to start the machine part sequence. Okay, off to Cerulean. So kind of what you typically would expect to see. Now we have to go to the gym and talk to the rocket trainer. For, now for Nugget Bridge. Uh, Nugget Bridge used to be pretty easy, but then the levels were buffed, so it's a little bit, a little bit worse. Is the experience Still helpful pretty... at all? Uh, yeah, it definitely does help, experience-wise. It the you pretty much just, I just pretty much just had to rejig the experience route, um, using candies at different spots, etc. So. But most of the trainers on this section are going to be one-shots. There's one in particular that is not. 
If anyone's familiar with the Nugget Trainer gyms in Gen 4, you might know which Pokemon I'm talking about. Alright, now for the Kanto Trainer music. And we'll be hearing a lot of that, because <laughs> there are a lot of fights. <laughs> Pretty quick, though. Ooh, I actually do like this theme better than both of the other games. I like the instrumentation on this. Yeah, I don't know too much about how the music is done for ROM hacks, but they probably had to redo a lot of the music so it would work in Gen 3. Yeah, that's a good point. Probably, probably pretty interesting. Seems like a brutal poke. <laughs> yeah, if I if I critical it, it dies. Oh, okay. All right. You should, you this, should just this do Pokemon that. This Pokemon is uh, is a very controversial Pokemon in PSR. Um, I'm not going you know, to say anything more about that. Water Pulse. Normally, it just uses Acid Armor, and I got confused. Really? Shouldn't have said anything. I I deserve that. <laughs> oh, it also has muddy water too. That is, uh, that's a oh. fun move. Okay, we didn't have to see accuracy drop as well. Anyone who's played Sword Shield Isle of Armor would know. Oh, but, I mean, it's a great move. It would, it would ideally it would miss because that would be nice, but of course it didn't. I have three full heals left. That should be fine. Worst case scenario, I just buy more, because I have to do one more shot. Earthquake the Gloom. Ice Beam. So I guess Ice Beam PP is tight, then? Suppose. Yes, so for the the reason why I got the PP up is because in Erica's gym, uh, or at least the point where I get to Erica, I need 11 ice beams. And I, yeah. It only has yeah. 10. Yeah, so that's why I have to get that. Uh, Makes sense. Ah, I'm going the wrong way. This way. <laughs> if you have extremely low. HP and special defense, there's an alternate strat where you don't get the PP up, but you have to do a weird um, setup where you don't where you teach over Ice Beam temporarily in order to use Crunch on Sabrina, and then reteach Ice Beam. Oh. So that's, huh. that's the purple highlights you see in my notes, head Bob. Yeah, yeah. Got it. But you need to have extremely low IV on a naughty, which is not the likeliest situation. Okay, so after this fight, I'm going to candy. I picked up four candies in the run, aside from the ones I've used already. I think I just used one already, actually. Normally, I would be just hitting level 57 for the next fight, but because of the optionals and the candy I used early, uh, because of the other optional I hit, it's going to look like I'm wasting experience, but I want to make sure that I just make sh I'm stay on track with my notes, because the late game runs, our fights are very finicky, and so I don't want to deal with any surprises here. And there's another reason too, which we talked about. Which is uh, a, a meme reason, but... And I'm going to use candies here.
Okay. Should have talked to this guy, but that's fine. Uh, so now the... Uh, we're pretty much done in terms of candying. We don't need to candy anymore. That's just standard experience for collecting for the rest of the run. So whichever trait gym leader I fight next, it's going to be an awkward fight just because of experience reasons. Because I'm fighting the Nugget Bridge trainers now, it makes more sense to fight Misty because I'm already going to be in the area. Misty isn't a terrible fight, but it is does require a little bit of setup. <laughs> I see we're making a, a new detour. I feel like that didn't used to be the case. Doing what do a certain part. Doing a certain part of the At game all? earlier than. Oh yeah, yeah. The uh, the old route fought Miss our Sabrina before. At least for the Gator side. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. because Sabrina is significantly stronger. I want to have uh, the extra levels. And the candy spot just is really convenient there. So. Definitely. And Misty's not actually terribly threatening at all. Because, uh... It's just more a water setup. Trainer. Yeah, it's just... Yeah, it's just... Yeah. It's not actually dangerous. Alright, this is the first and only time we'll maybe see a, a flinch from Waterfall. Let's see if we get it. Did not... So even with um, the protein and all the levels, you can't one-shot that gold up without a critical. So I just go for the flinch instead. Alright, Misty time. So this fight, I want to go to plus three attack and plus one speed. Uh, the speed is sim simply to outspeed the Starmie. Uh, Starmie has a really great move, which our let's anyone who's played Let's Go and done the Let's Go speedrun would know. Yeah. Uh, it's called Scald. Yep. But Scald can burn. This gold deck's pretty helpful, so, so it's not actually a big deal that we're setting up on yeah, this. We'll... Ideally, we just see one more disable after this turn. Okay. It has Psychic, but... Quad Disable. We love to see it. Very nice. I do have to heal before Sabrina, though. And yeah, you kind of just have to Earthquake here. Um, Crunch is weaker. Earthquake just has so much more utility. Uh, you kind of need Earthquake for Surge as well. You could do Sur you could fight Surge with Torrent, but you still have to set up, and so that would just be a nightmare to deal with, because it loves to spam double team and stuff, so you just would not want to do that. So Earthquake is just a really good move for uh, for quite a few fights here. Okay, so we got the machine parts. Whoops. And uh, now back to the power plant. There we 
get not zap cannon for the Gen 2 people here, we get thunder, which is not a good useful move. Sabrina. All right, so Sabrina has one Pokemon that can outspeed, and that is her Alakazam. Her Alakazam has a really great move. Anyone who's run Candy Floss would know all about this move. It's called Energy Ball. And by Candy Floss, I mean... Uh, in really was actually just running that <laughs> when he raided. Oh, nice. I didn't realize uh, he was doing Candy Floss. Very good category, highly recommend. I'm just gonna save here. So, um, what'll happen here is I have to set up an X attack in order to one-shot everything in this fight. The Espeon will either go for Calm Mind or go for Psychic. If it goes for Calm Mind, I can just go. Uh, because the Alakazam will outspeed out and it'll hit me, and he might even not go for Energy Ball. might just go for Calm Mind itself, because I have pretty good special defense for all I need. That could be the case. If Espeon uses Psychic, I have to use an X speed. And I didn't get it. So this is an uh, easy thing. Spam Waterfall, and I believe... What does Energy Ball do to me here? I have 9 Neutral. To 128. Actually, not that much. I thought it was going to be more than that. So I don't think even a crit would kill. Like to not have to find out. <laughs> I mean, 128 times 1.5 is... I think you were good, yeah. 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 So if you have really low special defense... If you have really low special defense and you... I think it's, it's a situation where you would actually be not able to tank two Psychics from the Espeon. Um, you would kill the Espeon with Crunch right away. You would Waterfall the Alakazam. It would hit you, but it wouldn't be able to knock you out unless it crit. And then you would set up potentially an X attack on the Mr. Mime. Whoops, I got this way. Uh, but it's a damage range. So you might have to X attack on the Mr. Mime as well. Wait, so if you're slower than Alakazam so you, and you have bad HP and spit up, you're assuming you're getting hit into Torrent for Zam? Because that would. I you guess don't, you, can, you don't need Torrent. You don't need Torrent for Alakazam. And I guess you could get Calm Mind also, right? So. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Also, Lovesick in the chat pointing out no escape rope. You cannot escape rope out of this gym. Yep. That is the case, I think, also in Gen 2 games. Perhaps, yes. I think you're right. Uh, this trainer is... Uh, this trainer wasn't in the older versions of this ROM hack, but he is now. Uh, he's very harmless. He has a single Growlithe. And we have three moves that are super effective. <laughs> so... Just pick one at random. <laughs> pick the one in slot one, because that's the fastest. And so this guy gives, once you, you have to beat the power, or get the power plant uh, machine parts to order to get the Poke Flute here. I'm going to do just, an extra, just a super here for some extra safety on health. Specs and use an elixir. It's actually almost as fast to bike to the Snorlax than to fly, uh, because the bike is just really, really quick. But I'm saving a few repels by doing this, and it just works out better for money. So. And if you menu really well, it's uh, it's it's just faster to do it this way.
Put Snorlax. I wonder if Snor well, no, probably not for uh, this version of the hack, but Snorlax could be a useful mon potentially to use on the red. But not in this version of the hack, which will explain why, what I mean by that later. <laughs> So now we're in Pewter. So next up is going to be Brock. First, I'm going to grab a very important item, which would not Excited. be on this run without this item. What is it going to be? Get Rock Smash. Whoops. And that is, drum roll please, the Choice Band. Wow. Physical <laughs> ver equivalent of the specs. Yeah, beating red with Gator would be really hard, I feel like. In the current state, it would be impossible, huh? To, uh, I think even just in general, it would be. So this fight is Spam Surf with Specs. The Omastar is a range if you have low special attack, but I have more than enough. Uh, you could do Earthquake on everything. However, the Onyx does not die. Um, I think you know why, Head Bob. Do you? Yeah, want to it explain? has. Yeah. Okay. So, um, an item was added randomly, I guess, to this game called the Eviolite that we don't see anywhere else, and we didn't realize it had it until we were um, just trying out a bunch of different strats for Brock back when Typhlosion was considered the better one, and it was tanking Earthquake by a lot. So the Eviolite is an item that, when a Pokemon's not fully evolved, it boosts its defense and special defense by 1.5x. Um, so it's a huge buff, and since Onyx can evolve into Steelix, it obviously works. Um, so yeah. Yeah, so, so Surf, it's four times super effective, and even though Gator has not so good special attack, it's still, with the specs, it guarantees it. Yeah, with Typhlosion, it takes a lot to kill it. <laughs> and I would assume especially more so now that Brock's a higher level. Oh yeah, for sure. Alright. I'm also renewing repels here. It seems kind of counterintuitive, but I'm just not I'm just avoiding having to menu again, so it makes yeah. makes sense to do it now. Thought I was on route one for a second there, so I paused, but still on route two. This is a pretty tricky movement section, just in terms of remembering where to go. Because <laughs> the water route was changed up in this version of the hack. Yes. This is now a man mandatory trainer, right? A new one? Yeah. Fortunately. <laughs> That's the hard part done. Very nice, very nice. And then after this trainer that we're about to fight, we're gonna see Blaine's gym, and it's gonna look a little bit different than you might expect from maybe a heart gold soul silver or a or a gold silver. Also this fight, get excited. It's the only regional variant we're gonna see in the run.
Hisuian Quillfish. You can barely tell. <laughs> they should have made it over Quill. I think that would be cool. But it's, def it's definitely Hisuian Quillfish. As I mentioned before, there are a few um, regional variants that you can access uh, by trade in uh, Fuchsia City, and this where the Safari Zone used to be. But um, you have to have the uh, equivalent version of the like the original. So, for example, like I think you can get a Lolan Vulpix. So you have to get a Vul catch a Vulpix and then trade it there. Um, if you start with Cyndaquil and level up to Typhlosion, you can actually trade your Typhlosion for Hisuian Typhlosion. Yeah, and that was looked into, which I didn't expect it would actually be good, but I, I think it handled red a little it's bit decent, better. Yeah. And it gets boosted experience, obviously, because of the trade. Uh, this gym is uh, the resident sleeper part of the Kanto section. <laughs> like, why are all these trainers mandatory? I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> It allows us to get the funny level at the end. Also, getting quick attack and extreme speed here is really, really annoying. How much does or Flare Blitz do? Fortunately, not as much of an issue for Gator. I. Uh, Item or PP usage is really important here. You do not want to run out of earthquakes, so you do not want to use earthquake on everything in this gym because you need one earthquake for later. Have to be very, very careful here. There's also Pokemon that have um, flame body. At least one. There might be two. I'm not sure. I think it's just the Magmar that does. But you want to make sure you don't use waterfall on uh, on that Pokemon. That's the Magmar here. You could either Surf or Earthquake it. <laughs> uh, see oh. Wanley doing the Mankey Minip in the background. All these trainers have one Pokemon each, and they're all one shots. <laughs> and this is the last one. Next, we get to hear the the gym leader music. The uh, Blaine is a um, pretty straightforward fight. Yeah, uh, you one shot everything, but his Rapid Ash always outspeeds, and it always—I've never seen it not use Flare Blitz. But uh, we'll see if it does. Um, I'm totally safe HP for that, even for a critical. I suppose there's more documentation for this game so we know what actually, like, <laughs> things have and the level they are. Yeah, in terms of the trainer documentation, I want to give just a shout out to Head Bob and Hunar who helped with that. That was uh, pretty well, big Well, we did it for the, uh, uh, the previous version, so it doesn't transfer quite nicely over, but um, yeah, the, it does the, give the a can, pretty... The, the, canto, uh, the canto we had to do again, but Johto is pretty much the same. Yeah. Um, yeah, very beneficial. Like, helps a lot with calculations. So that was good to do. Yeah, if you know the stats, it's very, very... It makes it a lot more fun to actually uh, do runs, because you know yeah. for a fact you're going to do this much damage, etc. All right, so one thing I probably should have considered doing is maybe using the candy a little bit earlier because I had the extra experience. And the reason for that is there's a fight coming up next, which has a range, and it would be probably guaranteed at 65. But that's fine. Could a 
handy maybe before the... Uh... Oh, I was not supposed to repel there. Okay, I'm gonna have to buy another one. It's fine, though. Oh, I just need to get out of here. Okay, so first up, we're gonna be doing a menu. So I'm gonna use a Hyper Potion. I'm gonna heal the full. Kenya is in slot 2. I do not want to see Kenya in slot 2. I'm going to move one of my other Pokemon into slot that's not Shuckle, so that would be Centret, because that's the only other one that's an option. I'm going to put the Choice Band on. Oops. Oops. Ah! Cancelled. Okay, that's fine. And fly to... You'll see why I need Sentry here very shortly. Yep. Took us this long to to find a use for uh for cut. Yeah, we we still need cut here, so <laughs> we used cut a few times, but Oh, this offset is really annoying. <laughs> Jim. Oh, uh, what um, the heck? <laughs> I find exiting the gym a little bit easier, but uh, avoiding the ledge, but getting inside is a little harder. Okay, so this is a double battle. We saw a double battle earlier. I could knock out all my gym friends, but it's it's really we really slow to do that. So I'm going to use a great spread move called Earthquake. What this is going to do in this hack, it's actually going to knock out the Sentret before it knocks out the Vile Plume, and so Sentret's not going to get any experience. However, this Vile Plume is a 10 and 16 range. It might actually be a bit more because I got extra attack EVs. Okay. Perfect. And that's that fight. I used the Choice Band solely for that. I will be putting on the Choice Specs again for a couple more fights. It is very clutch that you can get both of them at the moment. Yep. Use them interchangeably when you need to. Didn't have this. If you didn't have the choice band, you would have to somehow do that fight solo. And then just like spam Earthquake with both gators. But there's really no good setup to KO everything. That's fast. Yeah. So for this gym, I need 11 Ice Beams, and so that's why I use the PP up on Ice Beam. Uh, if you did that other strat where you keep Crunch a little longer, you can actually Crunch both of these fights that I just... This fight and the one before. The Executor and uh, this fight. Jump Luff, Skip Loom, all of them. Uh, they're pretty frail. And then right after this fight, you would teach Ice Beam again over Crunch. It's so you'd have enough Ice Beams to deal with Erica. So this is... Oh my god, what am I doing? I could have actually done this menu from here, but it's fine. Okay, so Specs again. It would be really nice if there was a way to like put the other item on one of your HM friends and then quickly switch them like you can in yeah. other gen games. Yeah. But you cannot. Just gonna keep, should I just keep going? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, it's back. Kind of. <laughs> yeah, yeah, now it's back. Uh... Alright, sorry about that, guys. I, uh... I almost won slots and that, uh, killed straight. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, he didn't miss much. I just, I've just i just been uh, KOing things with Ice Beam, so uh, we're just finishing up Erica here. This slideshow, what I'm seeing. <laughs> so I don't really know what's going on here. Okay, uh, froze again. It's, it's so weird because the timer's still going throughout. Yeah, from my end, I'm not dropping frames or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So. I don't think it's you. But we'll be okay. Okay, so now it. we're going to go off to... Hopefully people are still watching or able to watch. We're going to go off to Cycling Road and have some fun movement here as well. This, uh, this area was changed quite a bit since... Um between the uh, previous version of this hack, and it's just a very different cycling road trainer position than before. Now we're off to Fuchsia. You saw some of it. <laughs> That's good. Oh, this trainer's gone. Wow. All right. Yep. Replaced effectively by that Growlithe and the Hisuian Coolfish. Yeah. So this gym, um, I used the Carbo earlier in order to outspeed this Crobat. Hopefully we're still fine speed-wise because... Uh, I messed up my EVs. Looks like we're fine. And uh, having the specs on here allows me to one-shot everything. Okay, so this is seven badges out of uh, eight, and only two fights left in the run. And uh, these last two fights are very, very interesting. <laughs> I should be paying attention, checking what I should be doing for uh, this next fight. My special defense is nine? Yes. Air slash, where are we at? 44 to 51. <sighs> Do we, know our, do we know yeah, our max I HP? Tank, I, can tank, I can tank four of them. Yeah, nice. I am at max health, yeah. I should have probably not healed, um, but we'll make we'll make this work. It's definitely doable to do it with uh, max. One, two, three. I can tank four. Since... Are we faster than Pidgeot? Uh, yes. Provided that my EVs are fine. Interesting. Oh, I forgot to equip the choice band. I'll do that on the next fly. Alright, so next up is blue. Blue is, um, the first fight where we're really going to take advantage, start to take advantage of the choice band. Uh, it's unfortunate. I'm also going to do a bit of extra safety here. I'm going to pick up some extra full restores. I also have to get an extra super repel because I used one extra by accident. Do that now. Everything's still good stream rise, so why is that not really watching? Not really. <laughs> it's like the stream's been up this whole time, but it's like freezing every couple seconds. That... Uh, left... Up... Up right... 
I really hope it's working for the red fight. That would be yeah <laughs> awful if everybody missed that. Okay, so red time. I do not have an extra guard specs. So this is potentially a problem. So the idea for this fight is I want to get set up in a torrent and at plus two. Um, if I didn't heal the full, I would probably heal to about 150 HP or so. Oh, I forgot that... Oh, no, this might kill. Oh, okay, healed. I flinched! Let's go! So I have to actually take a few extra hits. So this is going to be a little bit of a weird fight, especially because of the flinch now. Guard spec. He roosted. Okay. Oh, what a fight. Uh, let me attack. I have, th I, have I have an extra X attack. Why are you roosting again, you fool? Okay. I need two of these, two X attacks for uh, for blue, for red. This is no damage. Three. Uh, let's do this. Because air slash is special. Okay, I have one turn where he might do something really bad. We do not want to see this. X speed. Okay, don't crit. Okay, how much does Arcanine do? I did go to plus one. 30 IV minus. I am not dead to seven. extreme speed. Yeah. By one. Lovely. That was a really fight. scuffed fight. So I am a little, I am gonna take take uh, one. Oh, this is actually bad because of the uh, guard spec. I'm not. I'm gonna be plus zero attack for Gyarados, so I am gonna have to heal. A two shot. Not a huge deal, but it's gonna lose a bit of time. Is that really supposed to last all the way to Gyarados? Crazy. Yeah, this might be a range to an Executor, because... Okay, it's fine. It's supposed to last past Arcanine. Oh, uh, right, 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 Arcanine. You yeah. are supposed to take, um... Minus, or, uh, get an Intimidate on Gyarados. So I will have to heal here, because I'm dead to, uh, Gyarados. And I won't, uh, KO unless, uh, I crit. Oh, I'm at plus... I'm at plus one, because I used 3x attacks. So this should die. Genius. Genius. Okay. I'm panicking at right, Ranger's Quick Please Quickly. fix the <laughs> Please fix this before the red fight. Yeah, now the feed's just entirely black. I, I think they're restarting it though, so. Okay, it's back. Pause champ. Uh, seems good. Seems like we're good. Okay. Welcome back, everybody. I think we're good now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we just fought blue. Blue was a very interesting fight, but we won. So, uh,. Now we're about to uh, do the most interesting fight of the run. Which is red. Red is always a fun time. So over the course of the run, I've picked up a couple items. And, a, and a, another Pokemon. And I'm about to pick up another Pokemon. Uh, I'm gonna What's it going to be? Fly. What's the Pokemon going to be? In order to beat Red. Wanley, thank you for the sub. What is a Pokemon from here that we could get that would help us with Red? Any guessers? I'm gonna just use a Super Pal. The cursed emote. I hate it every time I look at it. Not Starmie, yeah. I think. 
We already have a water tape. Uh. That's the teeth. Ugh. Alright, so I'm gonna get Rock Climb here. You need Rock Climb to get through, kind of like uh, Gen 4, and for Alligator is the only Pokemon I have that can learn it, so that's what's gonna happen. You don't need Earthquake anymore. How much does Surf do? Kind of spoiled the uh, what the fights might be. Nine neutral defense. Neutral defense. gonna go catch our Pokemon like now, so. Up to 83, so I want to heal to about 165 health. So if anyone is familiar with Mount Silver, I'm about to go get a very special Pokemon. Also, I'd like to give a huge shout-out shout out to Prabs, who uh, came up with this strategy. Or part of the strategy I'm going to use on Red, and that's, that part that he came up with involved getting this thing. Gayu! Yeah, it actually works out quite uh, nicely. It gives for Alligator a really nice, consistent setup. I should have given it a nickname, but it's fine. You know, it would have been so fitting if I nicknamed it Prabs or something like that. That would have been very touching. Thank but you that's people. okay. Uh, 145, that's not good enough. So we have to teach it... Overheat. Overheat. <sighs> What is so its move by default? The run. Sorry? What is its move by default? Sorry. I forget what it is. Is it Heat Wave. Heat Wave, yeah, okay. Which also can miss. Yeah. <laughs> Not the best. 165 is that what my my uh, target health here? I'll just use another super. Yeah, so Typhlosion loses. Like you might see, it might seem really slow to go get Moltres, but as I mentioned before, um, for Typhlosion you would have to go. You get an Intimidator, you get the Shuckle, you get um, some like a, a bunch of other slaves to sack, and then after that, after you get your like the Pokemon that you want from Red to set up on, it's still just a lot of setup. So I think. This fight that you're going to see from Iron is going to be a lot smoother than what you could probably expect from the Typhlosion route. Despite the fact that we had to go catch a Moltres. Also, one thing to point out is in in Gen Four, you can actually play the game on certain days to avoid hail. Uh, yeah, there's no such thing in the pack. Very that sad. Kind of nice, but it's not super. It wouldn't make this fight any different. I don't think. Earlier versions of the fight, um, hail was actually used to our benefit, <laughs> but uh, not anymore. Yeah, it would just save a lot of time each turn. That's all it would do. All right, one more max revives. So now I have two of them. I also have a regular revive, but that's not really relevant. All right, here All we right, are. Here we go. We've made it to red. All right, so first thing I'm going to do, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to swap my friend Shuckle to the top. And I'm going to save, of course, because this fight can go badly. But it is fairly consistent. 
Here we go, cat jams. So this this strategy is very similar to what they do. They're, we're going to see maybe tomorrow for the uh, Heart Gold Any Percent Race. Minipolis. Turn 1, Encore. Chuckle endures. Need endure for this. The only Pikachu will is... seem to always go for Quick Attack. It won't go for anything else. We want to see Quick Attack Encore. Chuckle will now die. But don't worry, we haven't seen the last of him yet. In comes Moltres. Moltres has a great move. It's called Sunny Day. Pikachu's doing a lot of damage. That's kind of odd. Uh, when I'm done the setup, Head Bob can explain why. Max Revive, Shuckle. Moltres dies. Again, we haven't seen the last of Moltres. Just note that Pikachu just did 110 damage to Moltres with Quick Attack. Shuckle comes back in. Pikachu's Encore ends. Let's use Encore again. Quick Attack. Shuckle endures the hit. Shuckle uses Encore. I should have taken off the Berry Juice, but that's fine. Uh, now I will Max Revive again. Max Revive, very important. They need to be Max Revived, specifically. Shuckle dies for the second time. Thank you, Shuckle. Your work will not be forgotten. In comes Moltres. Don't miss. Sunlight is up. Overheat. And by Pikachu. All right. When I finish the setup on the next mon, we can explain what what is the heck is going on. Yeah. <laughs> it's very, very, very funny. The Blastoise. Why are you going for Blizzard? <laughs> you can miss. You fool. Okay, finally we get to see for Alligator. Okay, so I'm gonna X speed and go to plus two attack. I want to see uh, Rain Dance. I do not see it. That, that's fine. We can make this work. He might use it now. Uh, surf does up to 83. Okay, this should be fine as long as he surfs now. Should be fine. All right. Oh, I don't have Rain Dance though. So I have to stall until he uses it. Okay, so while this is happening, you can explain what is going on. Alright, so Pikachu, right? In the Gen 4 games, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, normally holding a light ball. So what the light ball does in main series Pokemon Good. for Pikachu is it doubles its attack and special attack. Well, not always, but in later gens, it doubles its attack and special attack. Um, and so that applies in this game. But up until this part, up until this version of the game, and currently this version, it's always been this way. The light ball is broken in that it, instead of doubling Pikachu's attack, it instead quadruples it. And it used to do this for special attack too, but that was, that was patched in a recent patch. But the attack is still completely bugged and will do very far too much damage. Unfortunately, we just got crit, but that was the last turn of setup, and then it was then I won. A classic red, just an absolute classic. But yeah, the short of it is this fight would be miles easier for everything if the light ball just worked as intended. But instead, the priority shifts to getting a different Pokemon out after Pikachu that is more favorable to, to set up yeah, on. Because, yeah, because uh, Blastoise has Rain Dance, you set up to a specific, you heal to a specific HP, where two uh, Rain Dance boosted Surfs will. I just got crit again. Uh, two Rain Dance boosted Surfs uh, will uh, knock you into Torrent, and having Torrent with a Choice Band at plus two, with the Rain up, allows you to one shot. Uh, Venusaur and Blastoise. Yeah, so that's all it takes way, this for... Is, this is the absolute worst I've seen red. 
ever doing a strat. It's been very, very consistent for me, but you know, it's a marathon, so what do you expect? Yeah, you don't really get give anything really that many chances to get crit. Not nearly as much as if if you were to um use basically anything else. <laughs> um like uh, typhlosion you gotta set up to like plus five and get to blaze and it's like not good. Yeah, typhlosion is not much better here, unfortunately. Yeah, so if you, if you weren't able to tell already, not only is Sunny Day for boosting overheat and being able to one-shot Pikachu with it, it's also so that when Sunny Day wears out, there is no weather on the field. So that there's no hail that slows down the fight and also gives Blastoise a chance to, to rain dance or whatever. But it's just, it's just better, way more consistent. And then we also saw the worst um, set up on Blastoise. Normally it just rain dances right away, but that's yeah. when I had to do some really weird janky strat to uh, force him to put me back into Torrent. It almost worked, but then he crit me last turn. <laughs> Still have a chance to be underestimate, though. So the idea is, I guess, you get rain dance turn one, and then two surfs boosted by rain are enough to put you in Torrent. Whereas instead you had to take three surfs that weren't in rain. Okay, got the, hit the overheat. Uh, overheat's 90% accurate as well. Yeah. Same accuracy as Heat Wave if you had a, if you had a good Moltres, but you don't usually see that. If you have that. plus special attack, yeah, if you have plus special attack and really high IV, you can skip teaching overheat. So we're gonna do speed. Okay, we got Rain Dance, that's good. So now he's guaranteed to Surf. He'll only use Blizzard if he can kill you with it, I think. Yeah. What's the other move, like Flash Cannon or something? I'm not really too sure. I've never seen any other moves from this thing. Okay, just don't do the thing. Okay, that's uh, as long as I don't somehow use the wrong move. That's a win. That's a win. All right, we are going to be it. underestimate. Congratulations. Let's go. <laughs> Even with a death to red. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, big shout outs to Prabs for. Uh, kind of carrying over the strat that they use in Heart Gold any percent Nicholas, which we'll see tomorrow. I believe some variant. It'll be a variant of that. We'll see. Um, Time ends the, on um, Fade Out after the Hall of Fame, right? Have we decided? Yeah, Fade Out after. There's going to be a Hall of Fame sequence after Red, which is kind of not what you'd expect to see. So, But uh, that's what the Fade Out will be. Um, but yeah, just shoutouts to Prabs for kind of... We, we struggled for a while trying to figure this thing out. And... Uh, Voltrace ends up working really well for uh, for this. And then, of course, because, because why not, the final level, <laughs> this is not intentional, by the way, this, is, this just works really well for the route, we are going to hit the funny number, yay! Barely. Nice is in chat, please. Okay, so there is going to be a Hall of Fame sequence here, so this time does not end right here. So it is going to end right after they show all the Pokémon in the Hall of Fame. And, uh... And, uh, it fades out. I thought this was going to be a Tough estimate to hit, but, you know, we're there. With the new version of the hack, it's, uh... Fine. There we go. Yeah, the new the new version... When I when I submitted this, it was the older version of the hack, and it was significantly faster. I've not been able to beat my previous patch time, so... But we're underestimate, so that's good. Thanks to the GGs, guys. Much appreciated. Also... Again, shoutouts... Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> 330 IGT. <laughs> that, that was funny. 
330 IGT, oh, yeah. 349 RTA. All the, da- all, all the dads. <laughs> uh, yeah, shout outs to, um, to Head Bob. Thank you for joining me on commentary. Uh, Head Bob worked a bit a lot on the routing and uh, no worries. a lot to where this route is. Uh, shout outs to Hunar and Prabs for routing, helping with the routing as well. Um, it's probably middle of the night where they are, so they may not be here anymore, but thank you guys. And uh, to the Romax fan games community, there's lots of really great uh, fan games and ROM hacks to speedrun out there. Uh, there's a lot of really bad ROM hacks that just add a ton of stuff. Uh, yeah. They're not really good at speedruns, but there are a lot of really good ones, including this game. Um, so if you're interested in that kind of thing, definitely be sure to check out the, the ROM hacks fan game speedrunning Discord. Uh, lots of great games there, all the way up to Gen 5. We haven't really touched anything beyond that, but that could change in the future. And yeah, just thanks for the uh, to the marathon for uh, having me. Uh, it was a, uh, a lot of fun. If you want to join? To... Oh, perfect. Yeah. So uh, yeah, thanks for thanks for having me, guys. We'll uh, uh, we're just barely under estimate, so I think I'll stop talking. Uh, anything you want to say, Head Bob? No, I'm really glad this got to a uh, got to a marathon. I'm sad I didn't get to get to race it with you, but um, I, I think it was great that this got showcased at all. So really, really happy about it. Well, let's, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's call it off or call it done here and uh, we'll set up for the next run. Thanks everyone for watching and uh, stay tuned for more great speedruns. Bye.